to today's Pick a Crystal reading. Today's video was the most selected topic that I put up on yesterday's um, Choose a Topic for Our Next Reading poll. <laughs> so I put that on our community, on the community section of my channel. So um, I would recommend that you guys keep an eye out. They, they usually pop up in your feed. Um, that's what I've noticed. I usually get a lot of spam ones, if I'm honest, like things like make an E or make an L, those sorts of things. Um, but I usually do um, take suggestions on Instagram as well. So in future, just be aware, my eyes are always lurking. <laughs> I do read the comments. I do see suggestions when they come through, either by email or by comments or wherever they're um, posted. I do take notes. So I thought I would just condense um, and put a poll up on my channel instead to try to get clear information of what our next love reading it should be. Um, so today's video is a love reading. We're asking what is next in love for you? We have four groups. We're going to be covering a lot of little hints um, around timing, around who, around what, when, where, why, how, <laughs> all of the W's and H's. Um, four groups, you guys. So I'm going to actually start from over here. This is group one. Group one, you guys have the raw rose quartz. Now, all of the crystals in today's video will be rose quartz in terms of the groups. This, these are all different sort of variations. So this one's a little bit faded because I've had it. It's probably one of the oldest crystals that I've had. So it's raw. It's a little bit faded. It's still pink though. It's still a rose quartz. That's group one, you guys. Group two, you guys have the rose quartz sphere over here. So it's about the same, I would say, color as the first one, a little bit um, faded, but still a rose quartz nonetheless. I didn't realize rose quartz is similar to amethyst apparently, so it does fade in the sunlight um, apparently. Um, so that's group two, you've got the sphere. Group three, you have the little tumbled piece of rose quartz, okay? This little precious, the, my palm is almost pinker <laughs> than the stone, um, but you guys have the little precious rose quartz tumbled stone. I thought I would include that as our number four. I do have other rose quartz pieces, but there's something a little bit precious about this one. So that's group three. Group four, you guys have the tower rose quartz crystal over here, and I believe I got this one from Spirit. Magica. Um, you guys have been asking me about like stores that I would recommend for crystals and things. Um, I, I just recommend you shop local if I'm honest. Like stay, there are so many stores on Etsy. There are so many stores that tarot readers themselves have. Gem Goddess I know has a store of her own. Um, Cade Conrad, who, thank you Donna, <laughs> the blonde psychic, for pointing me over to Cade's channel. He has a store on Etsy as well. Jalissa makes her own spiritual candles from Jalissa's messages. Um, so many readers have their own stores as well. And I, I don't know, I, I like the idea of being able to support people on Etsy. I don't shop there as much as I should, um, but it's a very competitive market and it's very difficult to do that full time and to be seen unless you've got a platform elsewhere. So I would recommend if you're based in America, starting on Etsy um, or even, yeah, you don't have to be from America, but it seems to work better for the Northern Hemisphere <laughs> shipping wise. Um, for Australia, you guys, I have two places that I would recommend buying crystals from if you live in Australia. The main store is Raw Rituals, um, Raw and Rituals, sorry. I'm going to put her links down below and I will have an exciting package coming from her very soon for my home. This wasn't supposed to be a shout out, but I just uncannily received five different messages in the week that I was moving about crystals and people asking where to buy crystals from and how to get trusted sort of suppliers, people who aren't just using glass, for example. So there's a few different places. Um, Ancient Star Queen also has a store where she sells crystals as well. She had Moldavite for a little period there, but she can't get it right now. A lot of people are struggling with Moldavite anyway. Um, but yeah, there's so many, I would say, check your readers, check the people who you watch on YouTube because they most more than likely have an Etsy store and go and see what they sell. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna be linking 
more information about Rowan Rituals in the future. Anyway, gosh, tangent. Thank you if you listened to that long intro. <laughs> I appreciate you. Um, those are the four groups though, you guys. One, two, three, four. When you know which of these four groups you're feeling most called to, do scroll down to this timestamps down below. You have a song. You should have two songs actually <laughs> per group for today's video. Those songs may contain additional messages and join me in your reading so we can figure out what is next in love for you guys. Hi group one and welcome. If you had the raw rose quartz crystal then this is going to be your reading of what is next in love. Now group one I just want to apologize. The camera does have this auto focusing thing naturally um, but it will go in and out because I talk with my hands. <laughs> I'm, I'm that kind of person. It's not doing it now and it's contradicting everything that I was saying but if it does um, focus out it's because my hand is closer this one and that one's further away and I'm putting cards out here and the camera is just having a bit of a Glitch. I did try to fix it last night. Um, I don't think I ended up being able to do anything, but we'll see what happens. So group one spirit, what is next in love for them? I'm going to start with a tissue box for you guys. Um, group one, what is next in love for group one spirit when it comes to love? What is next in love? for you guys. Now I'm going to be treating this um, ambiguously in the sense of it's a general reading that should be able to apply to people who are in relationships, who are single. If I start to feel a clear separation, you guys, I will address the elephant in the room and this explicitly say this message is only if you're single or this message is only if you're in a relationship, etc. But we're just going to see what comes through because I know that a lot of happily married people do watch this channel as well and we don't want to cause a rift there if there's no rift in the first place all right i'm separating initials and we'll see what the tissue box has for you guys today this new filming layout to you guys i watched my last reading yesterday and i did notice the audio because the mic is further away from me now i will have to play around with the audio settings and i'm hoping that by the time you're seeing this it will be a lot more crispy. <laughs> so your first initial that we have here is the letter T coming out. Now these initials could be yours or their initials, the person who may be coming towards you or the people who will be involved in what is next in love for you. We've got an O as well, so O-T. We have a C over here, we have cot. Okay, my day is babies, babies. Careful, <laughs> it's contagious. No, <laughs> we have an M over here or a W, okay. Interesting. We have another O. So two O's means double letters, first, middle, last name. You could be one of those people who have double initials as well, like a DD or a GG. Speaking of DD, we have a D coming out. We also have an E over here. Two more initials. We've got an I and we have a B. Interesting. Beautiful. Okay, so those are the initials. Let's see what is next in love for you. Spirit is saying if only. So there's quite a dreamy feeling with this. When it comes out, it reflects someone who is fantasizing, who is wishing, who is hoping. Wishing upon a star, you might be manifesting something into your life very soon. We have the sixth um, house, which is Virgo's influence. The sixth house is giving me a strong sense of routine for you guys. Um, there's this, it's uncanny that that's followed manifestation. I don't know if you guys like are very vigilant with some sort of manifestation that you've been working on. There's this energy here, group one, of like being very um, specific and I want to say clear about what you want. Like be very clear, Spirit is saying, when it comes to love about what you want. Because I do feel things sort of progressing for you already excuse me, already, based on the energy that we're pulling into your reading. Um, but it's, it's it relies on you being very clear. And Virgos tend to, this is quite stereotypical, but they tend to have very analytical minds. So Spirit seems to want you to be very clear about what you are manifesting here. And I feel like somebody may be helping you bring this person in as well, because we've seen helping others here. And when I wrote this um, tissue box message, I didn't realize that I actually wrote helping others twice. So there is a strong feeling of you helping someone or someone helping you find love. Oh my gosh. Or bring things to the next level in love. We have Scorpio here coming out for you. Fixed energy. Scorpio in this card is literally just the sign. But it does also reflect the age of 40 to 45 years old. Let's see what the other green slip is. 
Pisces. Okay, so what is next in love for you is a long-term love. Okay, Pisces, 70 plus years tells me this is someone you're probably going to spend the rest of your life with, group one. This is someone who um, you're going to experience a lot of growth with, with the mutable energy of Pisces here. Someone who's going to help you define an aspect of your personality that you've struggled to finesse by yourself. Um, it's not to say that you're not capable, but I feel like this person will bring out a quality that is quite subtle within you right now. Like, I don't know why, but maybe this person is more adventurous and these are the things that you've always wanted to do, but you didn't feel safe doing by yourself. So you kind of put off that part of, of your personality or you felt put off by um, the safety aspect of you being able to explore that part of your personality. There's a feeling as though this person is going to draw subtle parts of your personality out and help you sort of develop those subtle energies. Now Pisces energy is also being influenced by this sort of whimsical Neptunian if only energy. But the if only is more of a manifestation rather than a daydream or illusion for you guys. I feel like spirit is really wanting you to get serious about what you want in terms of um, be very clear, you know. If you're manifesting a soulmate, don't settle for a karmic partner, that type of energy. Um, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be, of course. But like, if you know you want this, then don't settle for that type of energy. If you know you want long term, then why are we looking for people at nightclubs, you know? Or why are we only swiping right on Tinder instead of like making meaningful conversations? Um, there's this energy of don't settle. And I feel like spirit doesn't want to call you out on your methods because it's going to happen serendipitously. But it's just about um, don't settle. Be very clear about what you want here, group one. Because I feel like you guys have choices, but we'll get through that. We'll get through that energy. We're going to get some tarot too. We have fire coming out. So it could be a fire sign coming towards you. Scorpio is influenced by Mars. So that, that could make sense. A bit of a fiery phoenix energy. Um... We have root chakra coming out, going back to basics, starting fresh. Some of you will be forging a completely new partnership or this love situation begins um, after a new beginning. I feel like in general, something new is coming towards you. I'm curious to see what Tarot has to say. We have greed here. <laughs> yes, they want you to not settle. Spirit saying be greedy with your love. <laughs> be greedy with your love, group one. We have third house. Siblings might be able to help you or you could have a shared community with this person. I feel like you'll be having a lot of communication. I don't know why third house always makes me think of technology, even though that's technically the 11th house. The third house just makes me think that you're having a lot of conversations with people. You might be getting to know some acquaintances better, um, some sort of second or third degree people. You know, you have your intimate circle and then the people that they know and the people that they know. You're kind of going into those circles and getting to know acquaintances better. I am grateful for my twin. So this could be referencing a biological twin or a twin flame. You could be on the twin flame journey um, take it as a confirmation message though if you don't know anything about it please don't feel like um, you have to self-diagnose yourself based on this reading just take what resonates for you we have the 10th house coming out so structure i'm also feeling like um again being sort of a little bit specific about what you want um things are getting serious though with the 10th house coming out there is a sense of things elevating and getting more serious in your love life you guys whether you are single or in a relationship spirits indicating things are getting serious and there's a capricorn influence there you've got a lot of earth energy in the house with the 6th house and the 10th house over here. And now we have the 2nd house. We have all the earth signs in the houses. 2nd house is telling us about your daily routine, spicing it up a little bit, um, working on your self-esteem as well, having that sort of courage to be able to approach people and to let people approach you, okay? It's time to switch the face for some of you. <laughs> I'm getting resting bitch face energy. <laughs> It's time to switch the face, group one. You, if you want love, you got to be open to it. We have the fourth house here, which is talking about home, nurture, and parents. I feel that for some of you, this evolution of like your love life ascending and getting more serious could be children because the first word that came out was cot. So for some of you, it could be children. Um, what else are we looking at here? Sagittarius, small fiery energy. Expect the unexpected when Sagittarius is in play, okay? Um, there's a very serendipitous energy about this. It's not planned. 
It's just something that was put out there as an intention and spirit is always listening. It may have been some time since you've seen results, but we are going to start to see results. We've got longing here. So this is something that you have wanted for quite some time, whatever it is. Speaking of whatever it is, please let us get some tarot. I couldn't figure out which one of those decks was tarot. <laughs> All right, I always make this mistake. I'm gonna shuffle over here so we don't accidentally blow all those tissue messages away. <laughs> group one, please, Spirit. What is next in love for group one? Ooh. Do you want me to take them? All of them? I might reshuffle you guys because it doesn't feel right. Yeah, we have the Queen of Swords coming out reversed. Okay, that's interesting. What is next in love for group one? We have a lot of cards coming out for you, you guys. We have the Knight of Wands reversed as well. A lot of cards want to come out. I don't know if it's just because I haven't used this deck in a long time, but they really want to show us cards, um, a lots of cards. We have the Six of Pentacles reversed. Oh my days. You might be putting an ultimatum over someone you're currently dealing with. That's what I'm seeing in the cards. Like, if you don't want this, then I have to leave type of energy. Oh gosh, only take that if it resonates. Group one, please, spirit. We have the Tower coming out. They keep showing me the Ten of Cups reversed, you guys. The tower is coming out now. This is very sudden. Um, there's something quite unexpected, and yet it, it is, in a weird way, it's helping you get exactly what you want. Because there's this energy of like stubbornness in your current energy, and I feel like this doesn't fit what you've been manifesting. Like you've been wanting something, and yet all you're able to pull in is like the stubborn energy that doesn't want to align with what you're manifesting. I feel like group one, you may be putting an ultimatum over a current partner who isn't able to give you what you want. Maybe you're looking at love in a more serious manner. Maybe you want the children. Maybe you want marriage. You know, maybe you want to move in together with the second house, sixth house and 10th house. That's serious energy about sharing a home, um, sharing a lifestyle, um, creating a legacy together. Um, really just marriaging, merging each other's sort of finances or getting very serious and practical about like where are we, what are we and who are we to each other type of energy. Some of you might be putting that ultimatum on your person and I'm not going to lie, for many of you, it requires you actually walking away because I feel like you're more serious than the prospects you were entertaining. Um, we'll see what else Tarot says. I do want to clarify these cards, please, Spirit. We'll start with the Queen of... Um, you're really confusing me today, you know. Can you just give us one card for the Queen of Swords, please? We, I knew it. You've got a lot of tens reversed, which is very frustrating energy. It's like almost, but not quite. And it's this feeling of like, we, we almost had it all. Didn't we almost have it all type of energy? Um, Knight of Wands, please, Spirit. Can you clarify that card? The Queen of Cups is coming out now. You have two queens out. This could be a same-sex relationship for some of you. Six of Pentacles, please, Spirit. Can we clarify that energy? Hello. We have the Nine of Cups. See how many cards just want to fly out of this deck? It's crazy, and they keep showing me the Empress reversed, which is like a, a pregnancy waiting to happen, but it's it's struggling to in its current environment. It's almost like, it, it may only take this as it resonates, you guys. You may be pregnant. I don't know. I was just watching Shanetta Devine's <laughs> live stream again. I'm obsessed with her live streams. I just wanted to like check in on her too. It's been a while since she's posted a video. Um, and if you feel curious, please check her out and support her. She's going through a, a quite a lot at the moment. Um, but... As I was saying, this, this Empress reversed energy, it's this feeling of like things are trying to be birthed into your life, but the current environment isn't allowing them to be. It's like you're manifesting something and spirit really wants to give it to you, but you keep picking things that you don't manifest, that you, you don't want. Like you keep settling for things that you don't want. You're saying you want James Dean and like you're settling for like, I don't know, Fonzie or something. It just feels like... <laughs> Why did I reference those two people? I never watched their shows a day in my life, but that's what it feels like here. Yeah. And both, you know, subjectively attractive people, but it's just like you, you're you manifesting one thing and you're only allowing the other thing in instead. Um, what is going on here? What is next in life for group one, please, spirit? 
Spirit is indicating take it back to basics with your root chakra and the tower. Things might be taken. Yeah, look at what's in my hand. Things might be taken from you because they just simply weren't meant for you. With the Five of Cups and the Death card reversed, what is next in love is there is a cycle in your life that is needing to end in order for you to have the love that you deserve. With your bottom deck energy being the Ace of Pentacles, they want to give you what you are manifesting, but you have to be specific about this. You have to be very, very specific. You have to actually tell yourself and convince yourself of what you want because I feel like you are manifesting something in your energy but you're not allowing this to happen based on the current environment that is your love life. Now if we start over here with the Queen of Swords reversed and the Ten of Pentacles reversed, Group 1, there is a feeling of didn't we almost have it all. Now this is a very reflective energy of looking back to the past and seeing where things may have misaligned and where actions or indecisiveness may have led to um, less than favorable outcomes. Now for some of you, there is a feeling of somebody being in a relationship that they don't want to be in because either it isn't leading to the Ten of Pentacles that they want or it isn't offering them um, that sense of security that they had hoped for. There is a deep sense of insecurity here with the Ten of Pentacles reversed. This could just generally be your energy as a collective group, Group 1, being very unsure of what your future looks like when it comes to love. I feel like your group really craves security when it comes to love. Um, and it's not that you need someone to take care of you, but you, you're in that energy of wanting a long-term relationship and wanting something that is reliable and committable and um, loyal you just want that kind of energy and it feels like there's a lot of thought about this it feels like there's at times a lot of focus on this and a little bit of concern there's there's a lot of thought put into this area or this idea of your love life needing to be this way and feeling as though it doesn't quite feel like that right now the queen of swords is also asking you to keep an open mind when it's reversed it's asking for you to not make any hasty decisions because there's this indication of love may find you in a direction that you're not actually paying attention to you're out here looking one way but the queen of swords reversed is someone who isn't um, um, in thinking clearly they don't have their usual bird's eye perception of things so spirits asking you to keep an open mind and to just allow yourself to see the bigger picture sometimes you're very laser focused on what isn't working right now now the knight of wands reversed with the queen of cups reversed is this unexpected energy um i feel like there is something coming back in um it's this feeling of like a cycle coming back or an idea coming back or a way of finding love you maybe you're revisiting old dating accounts or you're going back to like old stomping grounds or you're you have like old acquaintances coming into town and there is this feeling as though you're going to meet someone through somebody else and that is what the kind of the knight of wands reversed is telling me as well i feel like the next what's next in love for you is you may develop feelings for somebody that you haven't seen in quite some time um who you maybe don't know very well they could be a completely new person but you know them through somebody else here and they do feel like a foreigner or someone who's from out of town or they travel a lot with the knight of wands reversed someone who isn't um very fixed um maybe they're new New to town in general but the queen of cups tells me that feelings do develop quickly for you at least and it feels like the it comes at a point when you're in quite an emotionally stable place and when you're ready to now for those of you who are in a relationship what i'm seeing here is that it might be best for you and your partner to physically move and that's so crazy because that ties into again sorry to bring her up again <laughs> Queen Shanetta's <laughs> live stream. It feels like you guys are going to um, be moving or things are going to be moving. There's something here about um, movement happening in a way that it feels very adjacent. Um, it feels like it's almost like a blind side and yet it's completely welcomed by this Queen of Cups. It's something that they had almost wanted or prayed for is what it feels. Anyway, moving forward to the Nine of Cups reversed and the Six of Pentacles reversed. There is a deep feeling of selfishness here, and I want to say that what is next in love for you is that you are going to be selfish with your time, with your emotions, with your energy. I feel like you are repelling certain people from your life as you start to explore exactly what you want, because you are someone who seems to want something very specific. At least that's what Spirit was indicating up here. And Group 1, I feel like there are going to be a few little sort of like miss 
steps in the sense of like people are interested in you but they don't quite fit the mold of what you're manifesting and it is going to be up to you to discern who you want to bring in. Um, I do get the energy that there are going to be eyes on you, group one. I don't only really see one person who's somewhat active here, um, and they do seem to have fiery sort of energies, um, but I do feel like you are going to be very discerning over who you let in. With the Six of Pentacles reverse, you're not investing your time with everybody and anybody, and you're only focusing really on your happiness as well at this point in your life. So it's very difficult for anyone who doesn't fit that vibration to come in. And that is actually a good thing, group one. It's it's kind of where you need to be, you know? It's the message that Spirit was saying. If that's what you want, if you're attracting someone who is long-term, who is like soulmate material, or who is able to share the energy that you have for yourself, um, then that is where you need to be. You have people who are attracted to you, who seem to have their eye on you, especially if you're getting quite social. Um, people are seeing and hearing about you, but they don't have a way of getting to you because spirit is protecting what isn't meant for you um, from you. Now with the tower and the five of cups with the death card reversed, there's a lot of Mars um, Scorpio sort of energy over here. There is a strong feeling of things unexpectedly taking a turn and something needing to be lost, okay? We have to accept that something is changing in order for us to continue growing. It feels like our emotional path is changing over here. The way that we perceive some sort of connection or the way that we perceive love in general is changing. And I do think that they want you to um, maintain like a, a fresh perspective. Um, how do I word this better? They want you to, it's kind of like, keep an open mind is probably the best way that I can say it. Keep an open mind because I do think that something unexpectedly is going to happen and it may feel like a loss at first, but it's actually offering you a rebirth. It's actually offering you the opportunity to do things the right way. Um, because again, what isn't meant for you will be taken from you. So it feels like they want you to um, prepare yourself and look after yourself first because something that wasn't meant to be taking up room in your life is going to be cleared in order for this new beginning to happen. And they're saying that once that happens, once you sort of let that happen, things might be moving very quickly, you guys. There's someone who's had their eye on you for some time and they want things to move quickly for you. They want things to um, progress, but it feels like there's another messy sort of cycle in your life that you need to wrap up first. That's what tarot is indicating at this point. Let's get some beautiful oracle cards. The um, I think it's called the Vibrational Beings Oracle Deck. Oh my gosh. I Sarah put it up on her Instagram account and I told myself I was going to remember it and look at that. I've already forgotten, so <laughs> apologies. Let's get some cards. Group 1, please, Spirit. What is next in love for Group 1? Opulence. Oh, I love this card so much. It came out of the last reading. Okay, so that's interesting. We're looking at a bit of, um, what's the best word? Grandiose, grandiose, intuition, interesting. You've got opulence, you've got intuition. What is next in love for group one, please do? Hello. They're showing me everlasting and force. So I do think that you're manifesting a long-term connection. They're also showing us rebellion. They're also showing us compassion. And they want to show us wanderlust. Ooh as well as freedom. Yeah, okay, so for some of you, you do need to actually be somewhat of a free spirit at this point in your journey. Um, even if you're in a relationship, you're supposed to be somewhat of a free spirit. There's a strong energy here of your intuition is taking you on a path of self, and you have a strong intuition with this Queen of Cups, but this love situation, or the pressures that you feel from your love situation, are limiting your ability to progress in your intuitive journey. It feels like you put a lot of pressure on yourself, maybe based on what you see happening around you. You know, maybe everybody else is married or maybe everybody else seems to be having children. There seems to be a lot of pressure here. And I, I wanna say that you're very good at like trying to not think about this, but the thoughts still seem to come your way. It feels like you have this energy of needing to explore something first. There's some sort of, um, I want to say 
your next relationship is supposed to be very intense and very meaningful and it comes after what feels like a long time of trying but I feel like what's happening here is they kind of want you to to carve something for yourself first and I don't know exactly what that is because it feels like it has something to do with financial success, but it also feels unconventional with rebellion. And it feels like you may need to go against something which could require a lot of your energy, you know, having to do this from scratch or having to have the kahunas to put your foot down and say, I'm not going to do it your way, like I'm going to do it my way. Um, and maybe it takes a lot of planning because detail keeps coming up here. There is a feeling as what is next and what you love for you is something your intuition has been slowly sort of revealing to you anyway. Maybe you've been dreaming about it as well. Maybe there's been a strong feeling as though, like, I'm just going to wait because I feel like there's something better out there for me. And you'd be spot on if that's what you've been telling yourself because that's what I'm being shown in the cards here. There is a force here, an everlasting force, which indicates like a past life energy as well. Um, there is someone who reincarnated specifically for you group one, but it feels like his spirit's asking you to continue focusing on self for the moment. Wanderlust is an energy of travel, and travel did come up in your cards as well. I feel like there is something about this traveling towards you, potentially. Um, it's like you're pulling this towards you. Look what I'm seeing. I'm seeing this um, figure just sort of sitting there waiting, and yet this card talks about force. And the wanderlust is like out here reaching out to this this energy. So I feel like you have something moving towards you. It's just about focusing your energy on the things that you can control in the meantime. Because as, as powerful as your attraction is to this energy, literally to the point where you're probably dreaming about them, um, we still cannot control people's actions, thoughts, and behaviors. So Spirit is wanting you to look at other things. And the person who's coming towards you could be somewhat unconventional with quirky here. They could be someone who you differs from your usual type. They were asking you to keep an open mind. So whatever that means for you, it feels like Spirit wants you to just keep an open mind when it comes to your love life. You're not supposed to premeditate that part. Um, otherwise, you may accidentally repel it, Spirit is saying. There's something about this situation for you that is changing. And for many of you, it could be someone who, you know, you told yourself you would never fall in love with, that type of person, or that person because they might only hurt you. With the Five of Cups and the um, death card, there is a feeling of needing to get over a feeling of loss in order to gain here. So that is an interesting play at the end of your reading and it's coming up again. There is a feeling of needing to overcome loss in order to gain something quite powerful, quite impactful that will give you a rebirth feeling. Sorry, I'm just looking out the window and there are like a hundred ants pulling this earthworm up the stone wall. It's incredible. It's just, I don't know why, I feel like I needed to share that with you guys. Um, hmm. <laughs> it's incredible. Nature is like, wow. <laughs> Sorry about that tangent, group one, but I just wanted to share that with you. Okay, so can we get some information about this person, spirit? Who is coming towards group one? What is their energy like? What, what can you tell us about this person? Oh, my days. <sighs> oh, sweet pea. Oh, I'm so excited, but I don't know if you'll be. <laughs> it's not to be worried about, okay? Not to be worried about. There's nothing to be worried about. <laughs> You're in control of your actions. You don't have to accept anything or anyone into your life, but this is somebody you somewhat already know. The person who's coming towards you, who you're going to have a long-term relationship with, you knew them at one point in your life. And again, it feels like that second or third degree of separation. For some of you, this is someone who you've had an intimate false start with. For others of you, this is someone who, when you were younger, you wanted to know more about, but things never aligned. It feels like you already know this person. And if you are a very limited <laughs> socially um, acquainted person, then this could just be some Someone you've had a past life with but for literally 90% of you who picked group one the next person coming into your life is someone who fits your manifestation mold who has taken time to grow into the person you've been manifesting um, and is someone who you somewhat already know you've been separated by two to three degrees of separation your bottom deck energy is rushing 
Back by Flume featuring Vera Blue. I always let the day slip away. I should have been making up my mind. I never opened up, took it all in, and now we're running out of time. So the first card I got about this person's energy was Headaches by Ravina. I wasn't in the mood for love. Don't leave me. I need a medic. I can't control this. The two of you do develop feelings for each other very quickly. And I want to say that there's something about this that feels somewhat familiar. It feels like we're only going backwards by Tame Impala. It feels like we only go backwards, baby. I got my hopes up again. No, no, not again. There is a feeling here of needing to release a sense of loss in order to move forward. Two of Us by Omar Apollo. Young and in love, got someone I can trust, and I know that you can feel the two of us. Oh, that's such a cute song. It's such a cute song. That whole album of his, love it. All right, we also have I Don't Want to Fight No More, Alabama Shakes featuring, um, Alabama Shakes. <laughs> There's no feature. <laughs> I'm so used to talking about features. Um, I don't want to fight no more. I don't want to fight no more. Ah, I can't get no relief. Yeah, I feel like that's you with your Ten of Pentacles and Queen of Swords reversed energy. This is somebody who's also been thinking about their Ten of Pentacles. And this is someone who may have also felt like they accidentally um, drifted further away from that vision. But secretly, you're both exactly where you're meant to be. I feel like the focus is still on self here, group two, because you are growing something. If it's not a child, it's something else with cot here. You are growing something else that does require your attention to detail. But in the process of, of being in this boss energy of creation and nurture, you will be pulling like a force of nature, this like the, like the ants pulling that earthworm up the wall. It's this incredible force of nature within you that is pulling this person towards you. We have longing for life to roll over and die, remembering things just to tell them so long. Salad days, Mac DeMarco. Listen, you, this has been a long time coming, okay? This is someone who's basically given up on love, okay? This is someone who thought, no, nah, it's clearly just not meant to be for me. I'm just one of those people who never finds love. And then, bam, the two of you are brought together and it's like, oh my gosh. And I want to say that there's something very much... Um, terrifying about this experience because it's like two worlds literally colliding two independent worlds you know just vibing solo in the um solar system i don't think planets change their orbit but anyway somehow the two of you collide and it creates this feeling of oh gosh what does this mean i've been independent for so long or i've been focused on just me for so long so there's all of that wonderful process of sort of i just heard assimilating you don't have to do that you're supposed to be a free spirit of some sort um but there is that initial fear so know yourself know your shadow self well know what your qualities are what your perhaps vulnerabilities are so that you're able to combat them and be effective and in building something with someone who you've literally spent years manifesting. I feel like this is going to take a bit of time. Let's get a time frame for you. Let's get a time frame. When is this person coming in to group one's life, Spirit? When is this person coming in to group one's life? We have the Eight of Cups upright. Oh my days, it's reversed. Excellent. Happiness, effort continued, desire, emotions released. So listen, that could be eight months, okay? Eight of cups is eight months. Um, I'll get one more card just in case. Group two, uh, excuse me, group one. When will this person be coming back into their life? We have the six of wands now. Okay, the wands are a little bit faster. I might say six weeks. This is upright. So I want to say that it happens after somebody gains the strength to walk away from something. Because this, these cycles kind of need to end. Something has to be accepted in order to move forward. There's a change of heart here. There's a change of heart. Something has to be accepted in order to move forward. I want to say there could be a heart-to-heart -heart conversation or just the confidence with the Six of Wands to to actually approach people. Um, that did come through at one point in your reading, having the confidence to approach people that you're attracted to as well, or vice versa, your person having the confidence to approach you because they've had their eye on you for some time. Um, the Six of Wands is about 
recognition of some sorts as well and being accepted by a community feeling as though you are the hero so maybe there's a feeling of needing to work on self and accomplishments in order to feel accepted by a shared community and i also was shown the nine of pentacles so we got six weeks eight months and nine years listen i want to say that the nine of pentacles is more of a message about just focusing on self and being in that position of being um capable and independent and self-reliant um nine years is a long time but take it as it resonates if you think that you're at square one and you're gonna need nine years of growth then that could be your message otherwise it's a strong message of focusing on self and not being afraid to sort of walk away from things or change the way that you see things in order to be more honest with yourself the nine the eight of cups reverse could just be about shedding light on your current situation so that you're able to see whether or not it's worth staying you know, bottom deck energy is the six of cups. We got six to eight months for most of you. Um, and this talks about choices, no pressure, proposals and offers coming in. So group one, that is what I see for you, sweet pea. I'm going to have to leave your reading there. I've got three other groups to film <laughs> and this has been 35 minutes. So look after yourself. I hope this reading was in depth for you and detailed. I hope that it offered clarity and confirmation. As always, this is a general reading. Take what resonates. Do not let the rest take from you. Thank you for your support and I'll see you in another video. Bye. Hi group two and welcome. If you chose the Rose Quartz Sphere, then this is going to be your reading. Listen, that is going to just roll and roll and roll. Oh, I lied. <laughs> okay, <laughs> live your best life. Wait, it might roll. Is it going to roll? It seems to roll every time I stop. Ah, oh, goodness. I don't know. I'm going to have to put this off camera, you guys, because it probably will just roll and roll and roll. But group two, if you chose a rose quartz sphere, this is going to be your reading, okay? We're asking spirit, what is next in love for you guys? Now, I am going to be using tissue box messages first. We're going to be covering a lot of information, actually. Um, I didn't realize, I knew this was going to be a lengthy reading because we have to ask a lot of questions, naturally. Um, plus, I'm just curious. <laughs> a little bit of a sticky beak. So I do like to get as much information as possible. Um, we'll start with tissue box messages and then we'll just get into some tarot and some oracle cards. We're going to be looking at time frames for you as well. So group two, please, Spirit, what is next in love for them? I'm going to separate all of the initials if you're new here. That's what I'd like to do. Um, also, you guys, while I'm doing this, I just want to say that today's video is supposed to be able to apply to everybody. So if you're in a relationship, if you're single, it's supposed to be able to have some sort of resonating message for you. So if I feel a clear separation between singles and couples, I will address it. Otherwise, um, generally speaking, we're just going to treat this as a general what is next in love for you. Now, starting with the first initial here, we have the letter N over here. Nancy. Nancy and Nelson. Okay. Um, the letter N coming out first, group two. We also have the letter P coming out. I heard Philip as well as Pia. Okay, Pia. That's very old school. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Pyre and Pike. Oh my lord, we're channeling a 5th century witch. Okay, we have the letter H coming out as well. We have the letter X coming out. I just had XXX Tentacion, so I don't know if y'all are fans of this person's music or you have someone in your life who is a big fan of them. We also have the letter R coming out. I heard Ronald and roll like roll dial we have the letter t coming out i heard turn back time oh my days we have the letter p coming out to k two p's which means double letters first middle last name i wish there was like a little button i could press when we get double letters it'd be like do 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 so two letters <laughs> first middle last name we have an o coming out we also have um, a G coming out. I just said gorgeous and I don't know why I'm blushing. That's so precious. Okay, this is a very doting energy. We have a letter L. So this could be yours or theirs, first, middle, last name. You guys, I am blushing. 
I, I mean, listen, I don't know if I am, I don't have a mirror, um, but it feels like that. It feels like that energy of like when someone gives you a compliment and you just don't sort of know what to do. So you just start to get really hot and you say sort of thank you and try to deflect. I don't know. Is that just me? That's what it feels like anyway. Um, let's see what else is next in love for you. They're showing me the second house. So this talks about routine. This could be a change of, um, well, a change of routine. But also, this is a self-esteem energy, so maybe you're going to have someone coming in that's really gassing you up, making you feel good about yourself. They could be a little bit bougie with this Taurus energy, okay? This person could like the finer things in life. Um, this is somebody who could very well be a Taurus as well. Something about daily habits here is striking me. You may meet while you're just doing your usual stuff, which is interesting. Um, hmm... We'll see if that comes out again. It might just be a small resonating message for some. We have Neptune coming out, which means there could be a Pisces, but also Neptune's influence can create daydreams and fantasies. So I want to say I'm hearing Dream Girl. Is that a song? She's my dream girl. No, it's not. Is it? It might be. Dream Girl. Anyway, my polyester girl. Oh my lord, no, we're not going to go down that road. Anyway, this is someone who um, apparently there's like a dreamy nature here with this person. Maybe they're the dreamer, group two. I'm picking up on a, a real sort of like daydreamy energy here of someone sort of drifting in and out of thought. Um, here nor there is what spirit is saying. We're also being shown the eighth house, so the house of transformation. This is talking about births and deaths in the sense of endings and beginnings and beningings. Um, we also have inheritance there, so that's interesting. Why is that standing out for them, Spirit? You may have recently come into money, Group 2. Not saying that you would have inherited it. Some of you may be, but um, you may have recently come into money. There's a change in your self-esteem here. This came out in Group 1 as well, but it was more about their future. You, it's your present, Group 2. It feels like you've inherited something or you've gotten something that has helped boost your self-esteem. Um, maybe it's a way of thinking or it could be money. Maybe you're just a little bit more successful and you're feeling good about yourself. But there's still something here to do with um, transformation regardless. You've, your love life is definitely transforming. Um, the scorpionic energy could indicate something that was already there being transformed more obtusely in the sense of something in your subconscious finally coming into your peripheral or at least your, your front vision. What is your front vision? Is that just your eyesight? Yes. Why am I really struggling to talk with you guys? It started with the blushing and now I just can't stop. All right, we also have Sagittarius here, mutable energy. Okay, we got a little bit of mutable, not gonna lie, a lot of fixed, fixed and mutable so far. Okay, so stubborn energy, but I feel like this is being forced to change, okay? There's an energy here of needing to change with Sagittarius and Scorpio, things needing to adjust. I feel like Sagittarius is more so indicating um, a time frame as well, like with 45 to 55, those ages could be significant, but there's also like a time limit here of 45 to 55 minutes or weeks or, I don't know, that, that number is really sticking out for me with you guys. Um, 45 to 55 minutes away, oh my gosh, maybe this person lives 45 to 55 minutes from you. It's really interesting. That is coming through strong. Um, Sagittarius is a traveling energy, though, and it's also a risky energy of needing to take um, risks or, or, or at least being blessed for the risks that you take, at least. It, it does feel like your circumstances are changing. Maybe you're doing things that you felt you couldn't do before. Something here is transforming in your love life, and I feel like it's giving you this air of confidence. Ooh! Speaking of love life, we have love coming out. So group two, there is a feeling of love, okay? Um, I feel like love is transforming. I'm hearing love never left though. Okay, thanks spirit, but like helpful. Who is this? It's one person. My polyester girl <laughs> keeps coming up into my head. Come on, Beach Boys, give me better lyrics. What's going on here? My polyester girl, someone you never thought you could have, and yet here they are. Like, maybe it was a practical thing that were keeping the two of you apart. It could have been timing. It could have been distance. It could have been that she was made out of polyester. <laughs> um, 
There's something here that was keeping you from this this person. Anyway, we have throat chakra, Vishuddha as well, which is your fifth chakra. Again, the number five changes, changes, changes. Tupac changes. Um, the throat chakra is about thought. It's about communication, overthinking, overanalyzing. Spirit saying, don't do that. You're never going to do it if you keep thinking about it. Just do it. Oh my days, they're reading us to filth. We have the 10th house coming out, Capricorn energy, tradition, career, authority. See, careers being highlighted again. You guys have transformed your career recently, potentially. There's a change of money here. There's a change of circumstances. Um, I want to say that your love life next with Capricorn feels like things that might be getting serious. We have the 10th house and the 2nd house. That's what came out for group one as well. But with the 8th house here and the um, Neptunian energy, it's like something was already there. We're just bringing it into the serious realm now. Something was already like a gray area, and now we have the opportunity to make it more stable and make it more real. What else can you offer us, Spirit? What is this card? We have solar plexus chakra. Yes, yeah, Spirit saying, don't overthink it, just do it. Just do it like Nike, do it. Oh my days. Okay, it's all starting to come together. Manipura. We have cancer cardinal energy of do it please spirit saying please now <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> spirit never says please to me who are you spirit's just like do it <laughs> with you guys you get the please cancer please do it spirit saying your heart won't regret this there's something about this situation that feels like you're coming home okay this feels like someone who's in your peripheral vision this is a gray area situation that's finally getting technicolor. It's like we're moving from the 50s into the 60s here. And Spirit's saying that we can finally bring color into the situation. We can bring love into the situation. It's up to you, obviously. But with the fifth house here, um, it doesn't have to be all serious. It can be about having fun and actually just getting to know each other. Dating. Spirit is saying you're dating. Next in love for you is you're dating someone in your peripheral in order to suss them out, get a serious idea of who they are and what they want so that you can figure out if the two of you will be able to make this work because I do sense there's some sort of adversity a challenge um, of distance of time or um, polyester <laughs> materials um, there's something here causing a challenge so spirit saying it doesn't have to be all serious like just have fun date this person don't overthink it just do it please <laughs> I'll get the please. That's crazy. Sagittarius again. So changing travel. Um, ninth house risk in gambling. Okay, so something about this feels high stakes. Is this somebody like they like? You know how we all have that one person. Um, for many of us, it might be a celebrity. You know, <laughs> like that you dream of. Like uh, they're like your one wish, I guess. Maybe that's this person for you group two. It feels high stakes. It feels like there's a lot of pressure to do this. It feels like there's a lot of um, concern over what if I miss because I got to shoot my shot. What if the arrow doesn't land and I just end up falling? Um, it feels like you just got to do it though. Spirit's really asking you to not hesitate. Like when you get the chance, because there's something about this that feels like it's very much critical timing. Like you just kind of have to like two passing trains, jump at the right time or risk getting hit by one of them. Sorry to make it so morbid, but it feels like it's critical timing and you'll know in your heart. For me personally, if I get really nervous about something, then I know I have to do it because I'm not someone who gets nervous. Like that's just me personally. I know myself well enough to know like I can be so cool and calm and collected. Nobody, no thing can make me nervous. But if they do, then it's a clear sign to me that that's something that I got to sort of take a leap towards. Otherwise, I'll never know. And the next time, if there is a next time, um, nine times out of ten, that nerve isn't there anymore. That feeling of anxiety isn't there anymore. But anyway, that's just something I thought I would share. Don't mean to make this about me. With Taurus coming out, more of that stubborn energy. You guys, you take forever to do something. <laughs> I don't mean to call you out. Spirit's the one saying this. You take forever to do something. You spend so much time thinking about what you're going to say. But listen, with Throat Chakra twice, I'm seeing a lot of communication. And they're saying helpful communication between 
between somebody and yourself in order to bring this gray area into color. And as I say that, the sun just got so bright outside and I'm able to see the beautiful garden blooming. There's a lot of love and light out there, oh my gosh. And I feel that for your reading. I feel like on the other side of the sphere, on the other side of all these thoughts that consume you day in, day out, spirit saying, um, there is a lot of opportunity. We have December again. My days, you could be dealing with a Capricorn with all this um, energy. We also have Sagittarius twice, though. Sagittarius, Taurus, and Capricorn have come out twice. We have, I'm grateful for my hard work, a feeling of your work again, your work situation, they're saying. They're talking about your glow up, apparently. You've transformed. You are worthy. You can do it. With November here, I am grateful for my fears. More Scorpio energy. I was hearing that everything that you want is on the other side of your fear, which is quite beautiful. And that's just a message that I personally preach. But it feels like it's it's something that terrifies you. Um, and it feels like it's something that like is natural. Like You don't have to beat yourself up over that. Like I was blushing from the beginning of your reading. These are natural physical responses to unknown variables. You know, If you don't know what's going to happen, you're going to tend to experience a little bit of fear or anxiety. Um, if you don't know what to say, maybe you will blush. You, know? <laughs> you can't control those physical responses. It's totally natural. Um, and I feel like it's just something that you have to accept as being part of the process. It doesn't mean you have to run the other way and give up on this opportunity because it is an opportunity. I'm grateful for my job. I mean, how many times can they tell us about your job? Seriously, what are you guys doing? I'm really happy for you. There's a strong feeling of transformation here, but there is also a feeling of regret lingering under this October. I wish I told you. And that's not, that's where they don't want you. Okay. They don't want you here thinking and wishing that you've done something when you don't have the ability to do it anymore. Look at what's in the middle of your deck. The Ace of Pentacles and the Lovers card. Oh my gosh. I wish I told you. The Ace of Pentacles reversed. I wish I told you how much you mean to me. Oh my gosh. This could be an interracial couple for some of you. Um, group two, please, Spirit. What is, what is next in love for group two? We have justice. Oh, love it. Okay. Balance, harmony, partnerships, integrity. Okay. Alliances. Oh my days. They're coming out with all the words. Group two. What is next in love for group two spirit? We have the queen of pentacles reversed. I'm just going to show you like that. <laughs> okay. I'm in a bit of a silly mood if you haven't noticed. Um, group two, please spirit. <laughs> what is next in love? Oh, yes. I mean, come on. Yes. Oh, Obviously. What is next in love for group two? Oh, okay. <laughs> There's that stubborn energy. <laughs> Four of Pentacles. But I really like where I'm at, do you? Hmm. Can we clarify the justice card, please? Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. You have to decide what you want. And you can't keep waiting for tomorrow because tomorrow may never come. Oh, sweet pea. They're showing me the Page of Cups, the Seven of Cups, and the Page of Pentacles here. So what I'm being shown is choices. Um, you're only confused because you stay stuck in your head. Look at this page. Look at the way that this page is looking up. Like maybe when pigs fly. And then all of a sudden, look at that. That pig is flying. You can't keep delaying something that you know to be true. Only take that message if it resonates. But there is a feeling here of being plagued with confusion due to overanalysis. Analysis? Analysis. Um, analysis. <laughs> okay. Um, it feels like the Seven of Cups is, is really just highlighting the fact that you do have choices to make. You have to choose what you want. Um, you have to choose what you want to step towards. And with the Knight of Pentacles, listen, maybe you're just a slow mover in general. Maybe it takes you a long time to walk towards the things that you want because part of you just assumes that, listen, if it's, go, it's meant to be in my life, it's going to be in my life. But there is a feeling here of at least choosing, okay? Like, yes, that, that statement is true, but you have to at least make your intentions clear. You have to at least make your feelings clear. Neptune's influence in your reading is actually a lot stronger than I realized. 
there seems to be confusion under all this clarity, which is just sort of pulling the veil of fantasy and making it difficult to act and talk. I see communication clarifying a lot for you. A lot of frustration, a lot of illusion, a lot of time issues. You'll be able to bring everything into light if you're able to talk to the person you're interested in. They're these adversities that you think you're facing aren't real is what Spirit is indicating. The Knight of Pentacles indicates a long period of courtship so whoever you are with um, you will be dating them for a long time and it feels like this is just because with the way that this knight of pentacles is walking in this direction you have other parts of your life that you're focused on clearly you've got something with your career that you're focused on um, but you have to at least tell people otherwise i don't know there's there's just a feeling here of communicating feelings, needing to communicate feelings. I don't know why it feels so urgent. Well, listen, I can't explain it. Maybe I can get a tarot card. Why is there an urgency here? The star, because you both want the same thing. And there is actually a lot more in your control than you think. Some of you guys have surrendered your own power, thinking that it's out of your control when you're actually the emperor. This is your control. This is your duty. This is your right. You've settled to lose before you've even tried, Spirit is saying, with the Three of Swords. There's a feeling here of, like, I don't want to get hurt, so I'm just not going to do anything at all. Even though, apparently, this person's also manifesting you. Even though, apparently, this is a tough cycle that could end. It's always darkest before the dawn is what's coming to mind. Um, but with the Hanged Man Reverse, it's like you already know to do, what to do. But instead of like climbing down and, and taking your clarity with you, you're just hanging there. And Spirit's like, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? We told you everything already. And you're like, no, 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 no. I'm sure there's more. There's got to be more information to come. And Spirit's like, no, get out. <laughs> Stop. It's just in your head. I'm sorry to say that. But with the Seven of Wands, this indicates a lot of internal fear, a lot of fear, a lot of conflict, a lot of... Um, um, things that aren't necessarily adversities being protruded or portrayed from the internal. Okay, listen, let's go forward. We'll go to the Queen of Pentacles next. What is next in love for group two, please, spirit? What is next in love for group two? Excuse me, why is my hand wet? It's weird. What is next in love for group two, please, spirit, with the Queen of Pentacles? We have the Six of Swords. It feels like we only go backwards. That was a song in Group 1. But for you guys, wow, okay. Listen, I'm going to lay that out. I'll lay it out. I'll come back to it. The Lovers, please, Spirit. Oh my gosh, you're getting all the cards. I was very careful with Group 1. I only got them six or eight cards. I think it was ten, actually. Um, but you guys, look at this. <laughs> what spread? Um, Four of Pentacles, please. What is next in love? Hello. Okay, bottom deck energy is the magician. You're certainly manifesting something, group two. You're really powerful and you have transformed yourself. There's an air of confidence about you now that radiates internally. And that's the difference that a lot of people have noticed, especially friends is what I'm hearing. People see a change in you. And for the positive, like you seem to have more confidence. You're more confident in your abilities and who you are and your qualities, your traits as well. You're a beautiful soul. There's a precious nature to you that gets wrapped up in fantasy but i do feel here with the queen of pentacles six of swords reverse ten of wands ace of swords reverse there's something that you've already thought about there's someone that you've already thought about but there isn't this clear path to them or so you think and it feels like in order to be with them you have to go back to something you have to go backwards but i see that a lot of this is about some sort of responsibility um you you seem to be this person is unavailable or this opportunity is unavailable to you because of another responsibility that you feel you have. And it's something that you've been sitting on for some time. You've been thinking about it. It's like the Ace is saying no here. The Ace of Swords reversed is telling you no. Um, but every fiber of your being is saying yes. It's a very tricky situation. I won't pretend to understand it, but it does feel like there are answers in this direction. It feels like with the Queen of Pentacles reverse too, that this could be someone who is physically unavailable to you. This could be someone who's in another relationship. 
They could be married, for example. Um, they could just be invested in other things, but they, you carry this connection to them like a burden of responsibility. It's like part of you wants to respect them as for who they are, but part of you can't stop thinking about them as well and who they are and what they are and why are they so meaningful. Um, you want to, to get answers, and I feel like you could... Um, for many of you, Spirit's indication was that a lot of this fear is something you carry internally. But for others of you, maybe it isn't right, you know? You'll know. If you feel like you just you shouldn't, then you'll know. But um, for many of you, it's a fear that is just holding you back from this opportunity. With the lovers here, the Page of Pentacles reversed and the Eight of Wands upright, I see the opportunity to honestly have something quite powerful in your life. What is next in love is you do have a divine counterpart and it feels like you're trying to forge a partnership with this person. It feels like your air of confidence is drawing this person into your life, potentially back into your life because many of you have already met this person. It feels like group two, you told yourself when pigs fly, I'll tell this person how I feel. And now like you've been able to tick all these things off your box, like off your box, off your list. <laughs> <laughs> You've been able to tick all these boxes off your list. Oh my gosh. Oh lord. Anyway, um, yeah, you, you you know you've got the career sorted. You've you've done this. You've done that. Now it's time to tell this person how you feel. That's what it feels like. It may not be applicable. Maybe for many of you, you just told yourself, I wasn't going to get into a serious relationship until I did this, until I did that, until I had a successful career, until I had my own home, etc., etc. You told yourself all of these things, and it feels like you've done it all now. Spirit is saying it's time to balance out other areas of your life. And I feel like you do have a divine counterpart, okay? This is somebody who's like the yin to your yang, or the yang to your yin, however you resonate. With the lovers, the page of pentacles, and the Eight of Wands. There could be an age difference here, or there could be like a younger energy interfering in the connection, but it feels like this is a very passionate connection with them, and it feels like communication with them flows easily, or, oh my God in heaven, holy, I just saw a guana. Oh my God, I have to pause this video. All right, group two, <laughs> I am back. Oh my Lord, I, I hope I remembered to put photos in for you so that you're able to see the guana. Oh my gosh, he's so beautiful. He's so handsome. Oh, I've never, I, you know you what? We get them a lot around here, but I haven't seen one that, that big in so long and he's still just lying there sun baking. Oh my gosh, I'm so grateful to live where I do. Anyway, group two. What was I saying? There is an interference of some sort in this connection, and it feels like it's a practical interference with it being the Page of Pentacles, okay? Oh my gosh, she's coming closer. I'm getting so distracted. It's so beautiful. So aggressively beautiful. I'm scared. Um, anyway, um, goodness, I need to ground myself. Let me get my Amazonite and <laughs> my Amethyst. Okay, so... The Eight of Wands, there's passion, there's a strong attraction, there's a desire to communicate, there's a desire to move things quickly. You recognize this person, you want this person, you see them for who they are and for what they mean to you. But there is a practical interference here. It could be a younger person, it could be a friend, it could be a sibling, it could be that adversity of distance that we were talking about. There is a practical interference and it's something that seems to be blocking your ability to move this connection forward. Now, now, for many of you, it's just about getting to know each other and talking about this in a, in a practical way, you know, like, hey, these are my concerns, what are your concerns? Having those open, honest conversations. Um, it's about openly discussing these things with them. With the Four of Pentacles here, I do see someone struggling to open up. There's a stubborn energy of holding on to what you have, which risks you losing what you could have with the Eight of Swords. Spirit is saying it is time to get out of your head in the 
sense of it's time to explore things. It's time to let yourself think bigger than what you've been conditioned to believe about yourself. Maybe, you know, you grew up a certain way and people told you you need to do this, this and that and before you do that. Um, or don't get into a relationship too early. It'll ruin your life type of thing. I don't know. But Spirit's saying there's some belief here that is really standing in your way, group two, of you being genuinely happy. And you're clinging to it in a very... Um, I want to say pattern or way. It's a behavioral way. It's not actually what you want to do, but it's something that like behaviorally you've been conditioned to do. So I don't know, you'll know what it is specifically. Um, and it's something that may help you actually sort of get closer to your divine counterpart, because I do detect that this is someone you want in your life. I just think that the the interference is, is somewhat um, insignificant. The two of you talking about this could help the two of you come together. So let's talk about this person some more, shall we? What should we get? Let's get these beautiful cards. These high vibrational or vibrational beings oracle cards. Um, what is next in love for group two please spirit we have instinct spirit saying trust your instincts here your gut instinct not what you've been told to do spirit saying react reach reach excuse me they want to show you all these cards we have reach over here is that reach we have timing it's either reach or react i think it's reach it is reach i'm gonna stop doubting we have reach, timing, and evolution. Oh my good lord, that is beautiful. You are growing. You are becoming more. What does this say? Everlasting. Stop it. I'm so happy for you. I honestly, I wish, I wish you the best, group two. You deserve all the love that you've been waiting for because I feel like you are waiting. I feel like many of you have told yourself that you've got to wait for something to happen before you can make this happen for yourself. Spirit is saying, trust your instincts. What is next in love for you is something that you're going to know is right for you. Oh, the one is, oh, he's stretched out and he's just loving the light on his back. Oh, he's so handsome. Oh my lord, I can't let Kirk see him though. He would just eat Kirk in one bite. Sorry, group two. You um, really got to trust your gut instinct here because I feel like this is something that you know is right for you. You can't explain it. You can't put your finger on it. Oh, he's going. Goodbye, sir. Enjoy your day. You just know it's meant for you, right? You just know that it's supposed to be a part of your life. You know that this person is meant for you. And that's what the lover's card is. There is a decision that has to be made here. And Spirit is indicating the decision will be easily made if you are able to clarify information with this person. Talk to them, for goodness sake. They do have a mouth for a reason. Um, they have a beautiful mind for a reason. They have a conscious for a reason. It feels like you're able to have very deep and meaningful conversations with this person. Spirit is saying reach. So I feel like you guys are, let me double, 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 double check. It's definitely an H, isn't it? I'm just thinking like, is that a, an interesting T? It's an H. Okay. So Spirit is saying that there is something that is within reach, but you have to actually reach out to it. You have to reach out to them. You have to actually want this. It's right there. It's within reach, but you have to reach out to it. Spirit isn't going to like let it land in your lap like on oh, my days. Um, it, it's going to be close. You just have to come halfway, like meet me halfway right at the borderline. That's where I'm going to wait for you. Black Eyed Peas. Okay. Um, Spirit is really asking you to meet them halfway here, to really reach for this. You guys got a lot of messages in your reading. I'm very scattered and I apologize for that. It feels like there's a lot of energy really wanting the best for you here because I feel like that you've had many false starts when it comes to this journey as well. We have timing here, which is indicating that Kairos timing. I don't know if you guys got it or did the other group get it. There's something about your situation that's very critical timing. It feels like things have to happen. Otherwise, you know, you'll get hit by this train or that train. And like, when is the perfect time? If not you, then who? If not now, then when? Now, we're also being shown evolution. So I feel like you have peaked in a sense of like you've you've grown a lot. Um, you're at like a, a high is what spirit is indicating. You've come a long way. You're at a new point in your journey now where it's time to allow other things in. It's time to bring other things into harmony. You can't just solely focus on this 
for the rest of your life. Like you deserve more than that. You deserve love. You deserve happiness. Your career is important, but you also have to bring love into your daily situation because that is who you are meant to be. I'm getting that for many of you. You have a hard exterior and a soft gooey shell and nobody has really been able to see that gooey center. You've always had this shell protecting you. Um, that may not be for all of you, but I feel like there is this beautiful side to you that somebody really wants to bring out and, and show you. Did that come out for group one as well? Oh my gosh, I'm not too sure. Your reading has been a roller coaster of interruptions and I do apologize for that. All right, let's see who this person is. Who is coming into group two's life next, Spirit? Who is coming into group two's life next? Who is coming into group two's life? What is their personality like? Who are they? Someone who is waiting for you, apparently. Meet me halfway, they keep saying. The island. They could be an islander. Um, why did I say that? Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> interesting. That's really weird. The island. That's not what I would have said. The band who wrote that song is British. But okay, they could be an islander. Um, group two. Who is this person? A bit pessimistic. <laughs> Just a little bit tainted when it comes to love. Okay. <laughs> This person had their, their um, yeah, heart broken at least once before, bless. All right, that just don't sit right. This person is skeptical as well. This person seems to be like aware of you already, group two. But listen, there's something about the situation that makes them kind of mm -mm, on the defense. They're on the defense, Spirit is saying. We also have Only For You, Heartless Bastards. This is such a beautiful song, which reminds me, my playlist will be ready, okay? I, I'm, I'm saying it in your video because I'm forcing myself to do it. I will have a Spotify playlist linked below this video for you to look at, okay? I'm saying it, I'm going to make it happen. Been a while since I felt this way about someone. I'd really, really like to know you more. Only for you. I'm a fool. Only for you is the lyric. Oh, that's such a beautiful song. I'm blessed. This is someone who's going to fall for you very quickly, okay? If they haven't already, because some of you already have a history with this person, but this is someone who feels like there's something very special between the two of you. We found a lake and a boat for two and rode until the nighttime grew. I'm not going home. The island, box of light, this feeling of wanting to run away together. This person may be a traveler. They may be someone who's on the move as well. Um, not going home. Hmm. There's a strong energy of two, only you, longing for life to roll over and die, remembering things just to tell them so long, salad days by Mac DeMarco over here, the pessimistic energy is strung up here, oh my gosh, it must be a Capricorn. Love is a crazy thing by Silver Phoenix, tried to make me feel good and you did, for about four seconds you did, but love isn't meant to be black and white, lucid dreams. Yeah, the situation is complicated and I feel that, I can understand and appreciate that it isn't easy, but there is something about this situation that will improve with communication. See you everywhere. I can't shut my eyes. I still see you there. Don't you get too close to me. I can't fall too fast. That just don't sit right by Winston Surfshirt. You do fall quickly for this person, okay? And that does leave you feeling a bit insecure. But it is mutual, group two. Lions don't lose sleep over the opinion of sheep. This one's for the ladies because they have our babies make us men. Ladies by slow tie. Spirit saying, listen, lions don't lose sleep over the opinion of sheep. Your relationship is unconventional. It's different. It doesn't fit the mold of other people. Maybe it goes against what other people want you to do. But it's also referencing the fact that there's something quite beautiful about that. There's something strong about that. It makes the two of you stand out as a strength rather than a weakness. You are two very strong individuals. And it feels like it's the weaker minds who are having a hard time adjusting to what the two of you seem to have. And I did get an interracial energy here, so that could be one of the adversities you may be facing. Doesn't have to be the case though. Um, let's see what time frame we've got for you, group two spirit. When will this person be coming into their life or back into their life spirit? When will this person be coming into their life or back into their life? 
Okay, there's a desire to move things quickly. Four months is being highlighted with the Four of Cups. The King of Wands, though, is a very ambitious person, um, someone who plans things as well. So Spirit is indicating that if you plan this well, you could make it happen quicker. But if it's going to go by divine timing, it's probably going to look at four months' time, okay? I don't know why. We have eight weeks being highlighted here as well with the Wands. Anything else you can tell us? Is this a swords card? It is. Oh, bless. Five days. <laughs> what a contradictory. Okay, so listen, if you if you don't take action, it's going to happen in divine timing, which means with the Four of Cups that it could be four months, but at that point, the situation could have hit a stalemate, okay? The Four of Cups, if I'm going to be honest, is something random um, that people are hesitant to accept because they would rather just keep what they have. And that's what I'm feeling here, is that waiting could indicate someone hesitating to accept because they have something else now. There is a fast energy here. If you take interest, if you actually, once you commit yourself to this energetically, once you really want this energetically, it could move very quickly. From five days to eight weeks, Spirit is saying. Your bottom deck energy is three weeks. So listen, this person could be coming in in five days. Things could be progressing in three weeks. And by eight weeks, you know, you have a solid idea of where the two of you are heading. It could happen very quickly for you guys is what I'm feeling. But if you choose not to take action, if you choose not to stand in your power because you are powerful, then it will happen at a time when it feels like it may be a little bit too late, okay? That's just a message that I'm getting with the Four of Cups. Yes, four months, but there is a feeling here of somebody hesitating. They're stationary now. They're comfortable now. They're happy in their own world now, and they may not want to share that now. I'm not sure why, but that message is coming through for you guys. So group two, that's what I see for you guys. I'm sorry about all the interruptions. I hope you enjoyed the Goanna pictures as well. It was so handsome. And um, he's gone back to the other property now, which is good. Kirk isn't allowed outside in general here. There's too many snakes and basically walking crocodiles. So um, don't worry about him. He's a safe boy. He's a homebody. Um, please look after your beautiful selves. In regards to this reading, your actions will reflect your reality. Don't take this for gospel, you know. <laughs> take what resonates. Don't let the rest take from you. Group two, look after your beautiful self. Always do what makes you happy. And I shall see you in another video. Bye. Hi group three and welcome. If you chose the little rose quartz, the little little cute tumbled piece of rose quartz, then this is going to be your reading. So group three, we're asking Spirit, what is next in love for you? Now I can put that over there because unlike group two's crystal, it will stay. <laughs> group two's sphere just rolled all over the place, so it had to be banished off camera. Um, but you guys, the tumbled piece of rose quartz, that's actually a very precious little piece to me. Um, sorry, I need to get a drink of water because once I start channeling your energy, it's just going to come a million miles an hour. Oh, okay, so it's a very precious piece of rose quartz to me, group t um, three. Why do I keep talking about two for you guys? Anyway. Um, yeah, very precious. There's something about it. It feels like the underdog. So I don't know if that's got something to do with your energy. We'll see what comes through, shall we? We've got a lot of ground to cover. We're going to be asking a lot of juicy details, naturally. I like to give detail in my readings. Um, we'll start with some tissue box messages. Group three. What is next in love for group three, please, spirit? Hello. There's a friskiness to your energy, like a hurry up and get here type of energy. <laughs> My days. This is your person's energy, allegedly, because this is where we're asking about them. Now I'm going to separate these. We're going to have a look at the initials first. Excuse me, I'm so hot out of nowhere. Oh my gosh, very hot. Holy heck. Maybe the afternoon sun just hit the house, or it could be, I don't know, there's no coincidences, so it could be something to do with your energy, but wowzers, it's very warm all of a sudden. Okay, let us get these separated. Um, what did I want to tell you? There was something I was saying for the other groups when I was doing this. I can't remember. Listen, it'll come when it's supposed to. Let's separate. Yeah. 
<laughs> All right, so it will look, oof, you got a lot of messages. Um, you've got to stop dilly dallying. So, first initial, yours or theirs, we have a C. This is who, what is next in love for you, a person. Obviously, I hope so anyway. We have an R as well. Groups two got polar, my poly, um, what do they call it? My polyester girl. That's what group two got, so it was a little bit like, I hope it's a person for group three. <laughs> so we got C, we got R, we got H. We also have an M coming out for you. I'm seeing moody, okay? It could also be matty or like Maud or Mauve or something. I've been watching The Boys lately on Amazon Prime. No, this isn't sponsored, I shouldn't say that. But anyway, um, Mauve, I think, is her name. Um, but Moody is the first word that came to mind, Group 3, which gives me this energy of, like, changeable moods. Um, that's probably why my temperature changed so quickly. Interesting. Let's see how that reflects in the rest of your reading. We have a G. Gorgeous. I've also heard get over here. There's somebody who plays Mortal Kombat potentially. We have a T. That movie just came out in Australia and I loved it as well. I'm surrounded by gamers in my social scene so I don't have a console but I can't avoid it and I love it so <laughs> you will get gaming references every now and then in these readings. We have an E everywhere. Okay. We also have an A over here so EA games. This person could play FIFA. Um, they could play another sport through EA Games. They know what they're doing, EA Games. We have a J over here. Justine. Justine Sky. Interesting. Someone could like her music. We have two H's now. Double letters. First, middle, last name. We got a lot of initials for you, so I'm not surprised. Double confirmation that H is significant in some way. We have a U. There's a message in one of the houses in particular, apparently. We also have a Z. Ezekiel. Interesting. Azaria. Strange. We have a V as well. Victory, Victor, Vincent. That reminds me of Jalissa Messages again. She keeps coming through in these readings and clearly thinking about her for a reason. We have an F, which makes me think of first. First person. There may be messages here that I'm supposed to channel first person. We have a Y. U. We have a Q as well. We also have a D. I'm a bit of an open nerve at the moment with my intuition, you guys. There's a lot of, because I did personally take some time off, I felt a strong intuitive cloud <laughs> hanging over me, just like swelling with water, needing to be expressed. So I do have, I've allocated time over the weekend to just pump out readings on Instagram, Patreon, YouTube. Um, just to get these messages out because I feel like there's a lot coming through for us as a community um, So the readings are a bit scattered at the moment because there's so much energy coming through so I do apologize in advance I know some people get very confused when I channel because I just seem to talk really fast I don't have any control over it. It just happens um, Tarot helps me control it somewhat, but Honestly, most of this is intuitive and when it comes, I don't try to stop it. I just let it come out because it's clearly meant for somebody. So you got H three times, which tells me that is a very significant letter in this group. Um, we also have, I am grateful for family. So this person is a very family oriented person. Group three, what is next in love is there seems to be something involving family here. It feels like for some of you, your family may know someone who you're involved with. We have December. Oh my gosh, there's makings of a Capricorn here. I am grateful for my hard work. You could be dealing with a Capricorn who is very focused on family. We have the 12th house, a bit of Piscean energy, but a Neptunian energy, which talks about endings. There's a secret being hidden from you, apparently. Um, surrendering to the process, going with the flow. There's also a beautiful creative energy in Pisces. Of, of being in flow with your creative energy. Um, a lot of feminine energy here with Pisces, beautiful energy. Um, there is a feeling of being trapped though, I'm not gonna lie, and we'll see if that comes through. The shadow attributes of Pisces is what is being highlighted so far. Um, we have Capricorn again, so 55 to 65 is a significant age for some reason. Um, it could be a measure of time as well. We have Pisces, so listen, what is next in love is that you are going to enter a relationship if you're not in it already. That is going to be um, someone who you spend most of your life with. With Pisces and Capricorn here, I wouldn't be surprised if we get Aquarius as well. Yes, no, no. 
let me get all of these out just in case um yeah we do we have aquarius so we have the 10th 11th and 12th house we have this energy of you finding someone or someone finding you who is going to spend the rest of their life with you um 55 to 75 years plus so I feel like this is someone who you can grow with. We move through cardinal fixed and mutable energy in those three signs. And it's also this idea of evolution as well, leveling things up, going with the flow and allowing this connection to blossom and grow. So if you're not already in a relationship, I do see the makings of a relationship getting serious. I see feelings being revealed. I see the opportunity to sort of come out. People are saying come out with the come out of the closet. So I don't know what that's about. It could be um, something that needs to be exposed in a comfortable environment. It feels like this energy of taking care of each other's feelings as well, um, accepting responsibility over each other's feelings. Um, we also have Aries here. So for some of you, this is a new relationship that's finally grounding for you. It's exciting. There's a honeymoon period with Aries of wanting to get things done together. Um, this strikes me as very like boxy energy like I don't know if you are the kind of people who have little boxes that you like to tick um I don't know maybe <laughs> it's a new relationship you like you have your first date you have your first kiss um there's that first time you almost go to third base you know that kind of energy the first time that you spend together intimately you want it to be special um there's a sentimental energy around this and there's a lot of firsts is what I'm seeing is next in love the opportunity to tick a lot of boxes. Now they're also showing me Scorpio. So there is an energy here of potentially um, uncovering a bit of mystery. There seems to be something mysterious here lurking. And I want to say that with Scorpio, there's this idea of, of knowing your feelings and standing by them as well. Now, I don't want to say that there's going to be disruptions, but it does seem like in order for this to ground, there needs to be a change or there needs to be some sort of challenge to be overcome. Like it's, it's natural, you know, as we evolve, we encounter challenges. Um, it's character development <laughs> is what Spirit's saying. I want to say, Group 3, that what's next in love for you seems to be the opportunity to share feelings, um, to really kind of stand by how you feel and to feel your way through this situation of firsts because you are experiencing a lot of new things. Now, we also have... Virgo here, mutable energy again. So there's a stubborn cardinal changeable energy here. This All of this tells me that some of you guys may be in your 30s or you may be approaching your 30s. And that's not going to apply to all of you. I know that a younger demographic does watch these videos and I'm grateful for each and every one of you. I'm not ageist. <laughs> if the message is meant for you, it's going to find you. Um, but there's this emphasis on something happening when you were younger and then sort of coming back when you were wiser in your Virgo prime is what spirit is indicating. So for some of you, that's your 30s. For others of you, it's when you're close to being 30. And it kind of allows you to do things in a way that is better planned. There's structure to it now. There's an idea of more uh, idea of what you want now. And there's a better way to do it so that you're able to tick your boxes. You know, it's not just you because I feel like you're a very giving person. Virgo people tend to like really get protective over the people that they love. There's this idea of being in service to others. The sixth house especially is being illuminated to me, but it feels like there's this opportunity coming for you to redo something the right way in a way where your younger self may have failed, right? And we get to do things properly now. We get to have all these firsts. We get to um, make these memories and create a bit of sentimental sort of energy around this relationship as it grows. And it feels like it's end game for you guys. I'm not gonna lie, with those three signs, it feels like it's end game. Those are my, that's my secret ticket item. If I see Pisces on the green come out, it means that the next relationship is end game. Now we also have Gemini here. So there are going to be learning curves. Gemini challenges us to think outside the box and to look at things from different perspectives, encourages us to gather information, um, to talk, to communicate, to see things things from other people's eyes, um, to be a, um, objective at times rather than subjective. There's this real sort of idea of expanding your way of thinking with Gemini's inquisitive energy. There's a very curious energy of information gathering and learning. So I feel like, first of all, Gemini, Pisces, Aquarius, Capricorn, Aries, Virgo, 
and Scorpio. You guys got a lot of signs. Maybe a lot of you picked this precious little stone. Um, but Gemini is talking about being objective here rather than subjective. So let's continue forward. We have root chakra coming out for you. Start simple, spirit is saying. Basics first, start simple. So what's next in your love life is something new is grounding is what I feel. I wouldn't be surprised if we get an ace in your tarot. Something new is grounding and it's going to make you feel very grateful for your past experiences because everything led to this moment is what I feel like a full circle situation for you guys. We're also being shown thinking and that's that Gemini energy. You're gaining wisdom. You have gained wisdom. Spirit's indicating many of you have already thought about this part of your journey. It feels like either there is someone in your life who you're currently with or you're seeing and you're at the point where you want to share feelings with each other and get serious and have that conversation and really feel each other out, like how long term is this? Um, and for others of you, you're attracting someone who is endgame. And it's about you kind of really getting that opportunity to do things the right way this time. Because I feel like you had woulda, coulda, shoulda relationships before um, that were a little bit lackluster to say the least. Sacral chakra showing itself to us indicates new purpose, new passion. And that's what I was feeling with Aries, if I'm honest. New purpose, new passion. There's this finessed direction. It's almost like tunnel vision. When Aries people are <laughs> sort of first get to that flair for love, it's it's very obsessive almost. It's like a pit bull with a locked jaw. Um, very obsessive, very passionate. Um, yeah, so goodness. Exciting, though. <laughs> Exciting. Um, that's the best way that I could describe that energy. It's, it's almost pushing me away. It just wants you. Um, we have the moon coming out. So a bit of cancer. This indicates that mystery again. What is this mystery? Let's get the tarot. I'm excited. I want to know. There's a mystery here. We're also being shown reinvention with Aquarius. Seeing things um, from a different perspective is what I feel. The future finally happening. Aquarius's energy could be talking about... Um, the future sort of presenting itself now, like something that you had wanted for your future. You've, you've hit that point now where you can do, finally do it. It does feel like a do-over for many of you. It feels like, okay, I've been through that phase and I'm just done with it. Let's just change it up a little bit. Let's get serious now. Um, for others of you, you feel like you're sampling the pot, okay? And it feels like there's an opportunity here to really sort of figure out something with someone and get a bit experimental, get a bit sort of curious and really like look at things from different perspectives. There's a lot of firsts here. So I wouldn't be surprised if you are sort of dating around and waiting for that sort of the one to come. But I feel like with all these signs, you, you could have a lot of people coming in and out of your dating world. Um, I feel like you have very strong, like there's a strong sort of 10th house influence here of family and tradition and hard work and Saturn really wanting things to be done a certain way but I'm honestly getting this idea of like sampling multiple pots so I don't know what's going on there. We have Capricorn, the 10th house, speak of the devil, I knew it, structure, family, traditions, rules, career. Not so much family, they talk about fathers more in the 10th house because it's this paternal energy of, of almost like protection and providing. We have earth, so they could be an earth sign. We have a lot of Capricorn in your reading. And I notice that with other readers, like their signs seem to come up a lot in their readings as well. Um, but there is a lot of Capricorn here. Speaking of the devil, there's Cancer. Excuse me, I was like, oh no, not again, Capricorn. Cancer, so cardinal energy, the moon. Um, it does really feel like, aside from that being their potential sign of someone who's coming into your life next, group three, what is next in love for you is the serious edge to your dating experiences. Like, you want new experiences, but there's also something about this that feels like you're able to do things the right way. Like... Maybe you never took it seriously in the past, or maybe you took it too seriously and now you get to just experiment, you know? Like there's something about this that's quite fresh and yet it's also got a bit of detail put into it. <laughs> it's new, but it's not like the full new. Um, it's very much like Uranus's way of reinventing and allowing you the opportunity to look at things from a different 
um, facet. It's not like we're looking at it at a different perspective. It's like same situation, different facet. Like instead of the rose tinted glasses, let's try the gold tinted glasses, you know, like it's very different and yet the same. We have heart chakra coming out. So I do feel like love is what's next in, in love for you. Like this isn't just going to be like a um, fling. I mean, you may have to kiss a few frogs, but I feel like love, what is next in love is, is end game for you. We have an O coming out as well, hiding. We also have inspired, and that's that shake sacral chakra energy. You may be feeling inspired to take a new direction when it comes to your love life. We also have Scorpio coming out again, more stubborn, fixed energy. But it also is the highlighting that mystery, which I'm curious about. Sacral chakra again, new purpose, new direction, new inspiration. There is a lot of passion here. Um, we have the fourth house, more cancer energy, cardinal energy. That's more about your home, feeling like you're coming home to somebody, nurturing a connection. Something about your parents as well with that specific fourth house card. Um, we have Pisces as the other sign. We've talked about Pisces briefly. That's your end game energy. That's also this 12th house feeling of something being hidden from you and a secret needing to come to light. And we have sleepless. So there is an energy of someone actually losing sleep over you. I do want to pull cards like now <laughs> to figure this out. Someone seems to be trying to get closer to you. Um, hmm. We have the seventh house, partnerships, contracts, relationships, alliances, um, business for some of you, but not really. It feels like this is about forging a long-term partnership. Where does your seventh house sit, you guys? What sign is in your seventh house? That's what I want you to find out because it could be one of these signs. Well, listen, we got like 65% of the signs out here, so it probably is one of those signs, but your seventh house, um, I feel like you're meeting the person who you are going to spend the rest of your life with, and you're going to have the opportunity to make it exciting and to do a lot of firsts with them. You have the opportunity to do it right, whatever that means by your standards, whether you want to kind of hit all these milestones or whether you want to experiment with them first, or whether you want to sort of take your time in general, or whether you want to sort of have somebody who you just connect with and you feel like you don't have to go through that awkward period with. It feels like you get the chance now to do things right, which is super exciting if I'm honest. Um, what else can you tell us about what is next in love for group three, please, Spirit? What is next in love? We have the Three of Wands. How beautiful. The Three of Wands over here. I'm going to put it over there. So that is an indication of a period of waiting. You've invested energy into something and you will reap the rewards. Spirit is saying, don't give up on that manifestation. You're ready. There's something coming towards you. What is it? The Hanged Man. It's a clarity. New information. These cards came out for another group, but they were reversed. You're fresh. You're fresh. You got this in the bag. Something new is coming towards you. I knew we were going to get an ace. It's the time for something new, Spirit is saying. You may be gaining a fresh perspective on how you want to approach your love life in general, whether you have somebody in your life already or not. And that's what I was supposed to tell you guys while I was organizing the um, initials is that this reading is intended for everybody. So if I get single specific information or couple specific information, I will share it. And this situation is involving both. So if you are in a relationship, I see you getting a fresh perspective on the situation that leads to a new idea for your relationship. It will lead to harmony is what Spirit is saying and monogamy for some of you. <laughs> okay, interesting. Um, for others of you, it is about shedding light on your feelings and understanding your feelings in general towards your partner and towards the relationship you share with them. Because I do want you to consider your relationship group three like a house plant. You know, it's something you carry around with you, but it is still a natural sort of being and it needs to be watered. It needs to receive sunlight. It needs to receive um, a sense of care. And I guess that that's something that we forget with relationships. We see ourselves as I am me, you are you, um, we're boyfriend and girlfriend, we're partners, we're etc, etc. Whatever label you choose. I don't personally like labels, but anyway, it's about you. Whatever label you choose, this relationship is a plant and it needs to be considered as a separate 
thing that you're both feeding into, you're both attached to, you both have a responsibility towards. I feel like if this is both what you want, you're going to be able to look at your relationship from a new perspective in a way that is giving this plant new life and a new way forward. It's something that will actually give your relationship that edge to be able to push forward and it's going to offer you a way out of a situation that you felt stuck in. It's not really a creative solution, although it could be because 12th house was talking about creative creativity. It's more of a freeing situation. It feels like you're physically being able to free yourself. Um, Spirit is indicating that the key to this is really talking about each other's feelings and whatever has been weighing over you. Because I do detect if you're in a relationship that there's been something sort of surging intuitively between the two of you that has yet to be spoken. Now, if you are single as a Pringle, the hanged one is saying that you guys are going to gain a fresh perspective on how you approach your love life, especially if you are in the dating world. If you're single and you're dating, Spirit's saying that there's a new approach to dating that you're going to take that is going to lead to success. It feels like um, a new message or a new DM or just like revamping your profiles. It sounds very practical and honestly, it's because it, it is. It is going to lead to new um, sort of messages coming your way, making your presence known, not just hiding, not just staying in your little cave, but actually putting yourself out there. If you aren't interested in dating yet, I do still see a new thought coming your way. It's a new idea, you guys. And the thing about the aces is that they're opportunities, they're not promises. You have to take them and make them something yourself. So it gives you the tools to do whatever you want, but you have to make it yourself. Group three, what else? We have the page of pentacles coming out reverse. This is the sign that um, immaturity doesn't lead to growth. So there is a need here to be able to look at things objectively for your group. I feel like it's about sort of understanding what you want to invest in when it comes to your love life. There is a younger energy coming up here. And I don't know if it's that they're chronologically young or if it's that they're just immature because Spirit wanted to use the word immature with that page of pentacles. So it makes me think that they're just a, they act younger than they act their shoe size, Spirit is saying, <laughs> instead of their age. Um, gosh, I don't know if that's applicable if you do Euro sizing, but in Australia it's it's like size seven, size six, etc. Um, goodness. So there is a feeling here of like an energy and potentially needing to compromise, um, knowing when to switch trajectories because the page of pentacles reverse tells me that something that we were investing in um, the soil just wasn't fertile enough for this to grow once we gained further information we realized that goodness this isn't leading us anywhere it's time to find better soil and again that comes back to whether you're in a relationship or single you're getting a fresh perspective for a reason this new idea is coming into your mind for a reason and the aces are fleeting okay the ace of swords especially it's very quick an ace of pentacles might really stand out to you because it's shiny and it glitters in the sunlight, but an ace of swords is so thin and so sharp that you may miss it unless you give it extra time in your mind. So this is a fleeting thought that you've thought about, and it may come back if you didn't give it enough attention the first time, but it is about you sort of choosing to make something out of that idea. I feel like there's a situation here that we have to abandon because the soil is barren. It's a physical thing too. Um, Spirit's saying it's a living thing. <laughs> What's that song? It's a living thing. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> it's a terrible thing to miss. <laughs> oh my gosh, I always laugh when they make me sing. Group three, what is next in love? Can we clarify this first row, please? What is next in love? What is next in love for group three? We have the Seven of Cups reversed. Clarity with a capital T-E-A. Clarity. What else is next in love? We have the Six of Pentacles. My days. This card loves me today. Both of these do, actually. What are you? They just showed me the Devil card. Do you have a Capricorn in your life? Look at him. <laughs> Flashing himself to us. Oh, hello, Emperor. Welcome. Mm, love that. What about the Page of Pentacles? What is next in love? Hello. Would you like me to take them all? Allegedly. Okay. 
Modern Deck Energy is your Ace of Cups reversed. I don't think that's intentional for you guys. I did see it back there and I was trying to shuffle it back in, but Spirit wanted to bring these cards out instead. Now we have two eights over here, the Eight of Swords reversed, the Eight of Wands upright, and we also have the Queen of Wands. Two eights, two ones, cycles changing due to a change of focus. Didn't you guys get, yes, yeah, Sacral Chakra, inspired Sacral Chakra. Aries first, you have a change of direction. I feel like you will be inspired to change things up. You're changing your circumstances, you're changing your approach, and you're looking at things from a different perspective. I feel like what is next in love for you is that you do have a very dedicated energy in your energy. For many of you, you're already in a partnership, okay? Um, but for others of you, you have energetically called for this person to come towards you. And that's going to be very soon um, if they aren't here already. I feel like you're getting clarity very soon, okay, group three? Spirit's indicating that whatever time you have now, idle, is intended for you. There is a reason why certain people aren't in your life right now with the Six of Pentacles reversed. You are supposed to be giving to self. Um, you're supposed to be taking time to understand how you wish to be treated as well. There is a strong emphasis here on knowing what you deserve with the Six of Pentacles reversed and making sure you aren't being taken advantage of. There is also a strong feeling here of being selfish positively so that you can teach people how to treat you. Um, the Ace of Swords being clarified by the Emperor. There is a need to take control of this new beginning that you'll be having. Whether it's an idea, whether it's a change of direction, it feels like this new idea leads to a change of direction. There is a feeling here of taking cardinal control, okay? And you're going to know this because you'll feel inspired to do this. Remember that we, you know, I always talk about surrendering. But I, I reference surrendering as when we hit that point of, I can't control this anymore, that's when we surrender. We can't just approach everything as leave it in spirit's hands, because then that's us not taking accountability for anything. It's really important here that when you feel that inspiration, when you feel that desire to move, you move. And it's going to be hard for you to resist it, if I'm honest. Like, <laughs> that advice is almost useless because you are going to want to move towards this. You're going to feel very passionate about it. You're going to feel very excited about it. And I feel like it instigates cardinal energy, excitement. There's so many firsts here for you guys. You're getting the opportunity to do things right. It feels like what is next in love for you is you are having a serious edge here, but there is also this excitement of doing things for the first time. I feel like you have a serious energy in your world though, whether you're single, whether you're in a relationship, the emperor is a serious energy and they want to know how to treat you well. They want to know how to do things that, again, there's still passion in the relationship, but there's also the correct way for you like how do you want to be treated kind of thing what makes you feel comfortable where what do you want to do like <laughs> type of thing like this feels like a planner this is someone who um is very balanced though and they they look at relationships as two strong people not as someone who does everything keeping that in mind this is a provider protector energy they're coming across as very masculine even if they're a lady or whatever, you know, they have this sort of desire to protect and care for the ones that they love. That's just something they possess within them. Spirit does want you to know that there's a lot of passion in your future. What is next in love for you is a new direction. You're finally breaking out of a cycle that felt like you were trapped in. It felt like a mental thing more than anything, okay, with the Eight of Swords down here. Spirit is indicating that for many of you, your head was playing tricks on you for so long and leading you to believe that things would never change. Um, it's about actually embracing this new direction and you're doing it with grace as well with the Queen of Wands. You've manifested this group three. It's the opportunity to step into a new direction, a new path. It feels exciting and it feels like we're still transforming as this unfolds. Um, it feels like people are going to notice this about us too, group three. People are going to look at you and go, oh my gosh, you're glowing. Like what's happened? What, what's going on with you? You may change your physical appearance as well. Um, maybe a change of hair color or hairstyle or just the way that you dress but you'll it's really exciting if I'm honest you're gonna be glowing so let's get some beautiful oracle cards for you what is next in love for group three spirit 
We have beauty, I knew it. With that Queen of Wands, you are magnetic and people are going to notice that. You're so attractive. And especially if you have a partner in your life already, they know it, they know it, okay? You, you come about here doing things to the beat of your own drum, um, but there's someone who is really taking advantage of this energy that you're embodying because you are so, so attractive. And I feel like this beauty is something that you're going to feel from the inside out, okay? There's a lot of strong self-love in your group, group three, and it feels like this is something that many of you will have been practicing for years before you get to this point, you know? Now, alternative, 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 alternative. That's how we say it in Australia, isn't it? <laughs> alternative. Um, that's, again, talking about this, you know, abandoning ship situation. The environment isn't working, so let's leave. Let's take, carve a new path. It's going to be very exciting. Let's do it. Alternative strategies to the solution, to the problems that we're facing. Um, alternative solution, spirit saying. It's going to be, yes, a lot of fun. I'm surprised the fifth house didn't come out. There is a lot of passion here. There's a lot of sexual energy. That's what's next in love for you. A lot of intimate moments. There's a lot of um, desire, which is what I have in my hands as well. Just a lot of sacral chakra energy. One more card for group three, please. They're showing me wisdom. Absolutely. I got that up here with Virgo. It feels like, you know, you've been through the ring in terms of you know what you don't want. And you're at a point now where you're very clear on what you do want. What is next in love is you've gained a fresh perspective around your circumstances. You are in a passive energy of... If it's meant to be, it's meant to be. And I do feel that you will be assertively taking action towards one area of your life when it comes to love. This is pulling someone towards you who admires that assertive energy and who is going to rise to the challenge. You have a new opportunity with somebody where there's going to be a lot of exciting firsts. And it feels like this is going to reflect in your energy. Your vibration will be higher. You'll be able to work out of a solution that you felt stuck in. It's been like a mental prison, Spirit's saying. Overall, your mental health will improve. It's a really good reading for you, Group 3. People are going to notice a change in your attitude. Good things are going to happen to you. Um, and her hearing good things happen in threes. But the number eight is also significant for you. And it is going to help you escape something that you felt stuck in as well. Now, I do want to just get some songs. You're going to be a long reading as well. Oh my lord. She knows no filter. <laughs> I've just been talking and talking and talking. All right. Group three, please, Spirit. What can you tell us about this person, this emperor energy? What are they like for group three, please, Spirit? What is this person like? Oh, they like your heart. This person is very fond of your chest, um, but they, they think you have a beautiful heart. This person is attracted to your compassionate nature, the way that you love. It may be unconventional. You may be rough around the edges, but this person sees straight through your exterior. They're very attracted to your heart space. I also just feel like this person likes the way that you dress. Um, your physical appearance is very attractive to this person. They have a lot of desire for you, okay? Bottom deck energy is calm, and yes, this person feels like they can relate to a part of your history. Um, the two of you may have shared history as well, like maybe you kind of came from the same place, or you went to the same school, or you had similar jobs at one point. Um, this song, Carmen by Lana Del Rey, is like this person sort of sharing this lady sharing wisdom with other young women by saying you don't want to be like me don't want to see all the things i've seen i'm dying this person wants to take care of you this person feels a responsibility towards you and the connection they're also showing me sun in our eyes diplo featuring mo to your hands you make me tremble make me crash forget my name should just drive that way until we're higher than life yeah you you listen this person is an emperor but you bring them to their knees there's a strong connection to you a strong desire to start things fresh with you only one by kanye west featuring paul mccartney bless this is beautiful Hello, my only one. Remember who you are. You got the world because you got love in your hands and you are still my chosen one. For many of you, this is a recommitment through a relationship that you're already in. We also have Give a Little by Maggie Rogers. This person wants to get deep with you. I cannot confess I am the same. I'm thinking of a place where no one knows me and no one knows you. If you could give a little, baby, we could get to know each other. 
yeah there's a deepening of, of emotion here with all this scorpio energy and the pisces energy a fresh perspective allowing for this new beginning this new opportunity to deepen something with someone call me call me call me how you doing nice to meet you call me sometime <laughs> my thirst levels are infinity and beyond 911 slash Mr. Lonely, Tyler the Creator featuring Frank Ocean. Yeah, this person is thirsty. There's a lot of desire for you. They're going to be like a pit bull with lockjaw when it comes to you, especially if you're not in a relationship. If you are single, group three, and you don't have anybody, oh my days, you have a vortex of fiery passion coming straight towards you, okay? This person is going to be low-key obsessed with you. There's going to be a beautiful honeymoon phase of, of creating a lot of firsts together. And again, if you're in a relationship, I see that taking time apart to get to know your own feelings and coming together to talk about your feelings will help strengthen your relationship. In general, like that feels like very practical advice, but it feels like this group, you're meant to be end game. Whoever you're dealing with next in love, they're end game, group three. All right, what are we looking at in terms of time frame? What are we looking at here? What is next in love? Very quickly, Spirit says communication is going to change everything for you guys, okay? With the Queen of Swords, it is reflective upon the words that you share with the significant other. Things could change very quickly for you guys. If you're in a relationship, positive change will happen like that once you have this conversation. If you are single, it's about being perceptive and being aware of who is moving towards you because once this person shows interest in you and you reflect that same interest, if you want to be interested, um, things are still going to move quickly for you, okay? The Queen of Swords is, is telling me that the action is in your hands um, and it, the pace is really in your hands as well. The Nine of Cups tells me that this could happen over a period of nine months if this is a new relationship or if this is a relationship that's on the rocks, okay? I see that the next nine months for you guys is very significant to the point where I don't even want to get any more cards. Spirit is highlighting nine months for a reason. The Nine of Cups is a comp a completely positive card when it's upright it's this feeling of success and looking after your well-being and feeling proud of, of what you have achieved as well mindful emotions is what I've written on this card so I feel like this heart-to-heart -heart conversation with them will help and that's been coming out a lot recently heart-to-heart -heart conversations Bottom deck energy is the Six of Cups, soulmate energy, choices, no pressure, proposal and offers. I do see a deepening of a relationship here over the next nine months. The opportunity to really talk about things, to reflect on things, to look at things for what they are and to um, move things as quickly as you want to. I feel like this person is a vortex of fire. Um, they are wanting to move things quickly with you. It's just a matter of your pace, Spirit is indicating. So group three... That's what I have for you. That's what's next in love for you. It was very detailed. A lot of information came through. Um, it was a bit of a vortex reading. It wasn't as bad as group twos though. We got interrupted so many times for group two. Um, I hope this reading helped you. I hope it confirmed or clarified things for you. If anything doesn't resonate, group three, don't force it to fit. Let it slide. Let it stay with somebody else. Don't let it take from you. Look after your beautiful self. Thank you for all your support and I shall see you in another video. Bye. Hi group four and welcome. If you chose the Rose Quartz Crystal Tower, then this is going to be your reading. Group three, today we're asking spirit, what is next in love for you? I'm going to be getting a lot of information, let's be real, on my days. I took all day just filming this video. Um, no outfit changes this time, <laughs> but I did want to make sure that I paced it because we are getting a lot of information. So, just a little disclaimer, by the time I'm reading for you guys, I've learned a couple of things. First of all, um, group two's reading was interrupted by a goanna. So if you would like to see what that goanna looked like, I have got a timestamp down below. Secondly, for me personally, I have a massive open channel at the moment. Um, I was so busy moving that I had to pre-film and pre-record a lot of videos. I took like a good four... It would have been five or six days off from filming in total. And in that period, I was getting so many intuitive downloads. So over the next week, I'm just going to be posting a lot of content on Instagram, on Patreon, on YouTube 
to try to get these messages out. Um, the reason why I'm telling you in your reading is because it's literally just coming out like word vomit. So <laughs> it's going to be one of those videos where people do get a bit frustrated because they're like, why is she speaking so fast? What's going on with her? Like, why is she speaking so fast? And the truth is when I channel, there is no filter. The tarot helps me sort of control it, but the intuitive gift of channeling is about letting spirit take the wheel. If I control it, it's my objective and my subjective information and that's not why I do this. Not so I can just share what I think. We're getting spirits messages out. So what is next in love for you? Let's start with the tissue box messages. Group four, what is next in love for them spirit? Heard double D double die double D double die. Um, blue. <laughs> Why? Why are you blue? Group three, group four. Did I say group three? Oh my days. Group four. Why are you blue? Let's separate the initials, shall we? What is going on with you? Who is next in love for you? I've been having like a lot of old songs come through. I don't know. I don't know. I just, I just carry the messages. I don't know where they come from. All right. So let us see. The first initial for you could be yours or the person you are dealing with next in love. We have a K over here. K is making me think of Kyle a lot lately. I do have a brother called Kyle. That could be why. There's also Cain coming to mind. Cain. But also the Cain that's spelt with like a C, like Cain and Abel. Interesting. We have a G coming out. Biblical references are a new thing. Um, I was raised in an Anglican church, but still, like, I haven't <laughs> read the Bible in so long. So that's really interesting. Cain and Abel coming through. We have G, we have K, and now we have a J as well, group four. We also have an X. So this is actually speaking of experience for you guys. Interesting. I kind of just want to hug you. I hope you're okay, group four. I'm getting this blue feeling with you guys. A little bit of sadness. We have an R over there. We also have an M. I'm hearing mum. I don't know. It's Mother's Day this weekend. That could be why. I'm being shown the B. It's Mother's Day in Australia, at least. I don't know what, when the other world, the rest of the world celebrates. We have an S over here. Smith. Smith is a common last name, but that's coming through for you guys. We have a V. We also have a U, Unique, Uniqua. <laughs> There's a song by City Girls that's just called Skit, and this is guy saying, turn it down, turn it down, Uniqua. We have E over here as well. We have another S, so double S could mean that you both have that in your name, or this person could have double letters, first, middle, last name. We have an F as well. I barely held that up, sorry guys, I know it's an F though. And we have an R, our second R, so two S's, two R's. Interesting. This person is highly connected to spirit, okay? They're very connected to source. This is a highly, not even intuitive, this is an instinctive person. When you are connected to source rather than primarily through your third eye, although I wouldn't be doubt whether this person is, um, it's more about acting on like an instinct. It's like you just do these things and you don't really know why. Whereas with your intuitive sort of abilities, you're able to feel like that's the right thing. Um, someone acting based on their crown would say, I don't know why I did it. It just, it just seemed to be the right thing to do. Um, I saw it in my mind and I thought I better go for it. Whereas a third eye person would say, I felt like the right thing to do. I just know that that's the right thing to do. There's an inner knowing there. This is someone who does things. They can't really describe why, but they know that it's going to be right in some way. Um, they just kind of feel instinctively that it's the right thing to do. Spirit is showing us greed. So this person could be very orientated, um, like 3D orientated, motivated by their material world. That doesn't necessarily make them a bad person. That for me just indicates someone who is very attached to their physical world, okay? We also have August. So this is someone who you could be in separation from or you could be separating from someone. Um, August could also be significant. We're looking at a potential Leo here. Um, hmm, what is next in love? Spirit's indicating the separation period. Many of you might already be in this period though. That's probably why you're here. We have same over here. So mirrored feelings, mirrored energy. 
we have love. So love is next, okay? It is complicated with you guys. I pick up on that. Some of you have been in a little bit of a blue energy for some time by the time you find this reading. Crown chakra. So this person is very guided to act towards you. But also, the crown isn't really an action energy. It's more about sort of taking advice and taking information and um, downloading information. So interesting. There's an energy of being upgraded. That's what is next in love. Spirit's really highlighting this upgrading period for you guys. I'm grateful for my options. Spirit is indicating that love may not be your main focus, okay, for some time. You guys may be focused on other things for a little bit. We have I'm grateful for my job. So this person seems to be very motivated by their work, you guys. They could be a spiritual guru of some sorts because we have work and we have crown chakra. Spirit may be guiding and influencing this person to focus on their career right now. We have if only, so wishing, longing, hoping. There's something about a wish coming true here, but there's also something about this that doesn't feel like it's necessarily what's next, if that makes sense. Like, I've got to be honest with you. I'm getting that there is a prolonged feeling here of waiting, um, of focusing on other things and love just happening. Let's see what comes through with Tarot, though. We have the seventh house, partnerships, contracts, relationships, alliances as well. Um, things coming into balance and harmony. So this is serious, okay? The seventh house is your, like, sort of marriage house some people will say. Um, it's where you might be able to tell more about who you're going to spend the majority of your life with or who you're going to settle down with. In astrology, it could be a way of looking at the things that sort of attract you into long-term commitments as well. So it's interesting that that's coming into play here because I don't know if you are going to be trying to settle down. I feel like what's next is that you're kind of looking at your options and trying to free yourself more than anything. We're also being shown the third house. Yeah, I feel like you're getting information. You're gathering information. You're being a bit fun and and um, a bit of a social butterfly with the third house here. That also references like community and siblings. So you could be spending a lot of time with like um, friends of friends, you know, like, or friend, family friends, or just sort of like feeling out your social scene and expanding in the way that you share your social energy. It feels like there's a lot of talking, okay, like a lot of conversations, but it's very lighthearted at this point. Um, I feel like you guys are going to be like getting out back out there with the new here energy of the first house. It feels like you guys are going to be single and loving it as well. Um, we have Earth. So Earth energy with that tie to the 3D world. Earth is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So you could be an Earth sign or you could be dealing with an Earth sign. We also have Libra, more seventh house energy, cardinal energy. We also have, you already know. So Spirit is indicating that there is something serious here that you may just not be focusing on. Um, you're focusing on other areas of your life. And it feels like this is kind of pulling you back because Libra is indicating you have a partnership with somebody or you have a co strong commitment to somebody or some sort of connection, relationship to somebody. Um, but it's almost like you guys are hesitant to settle down into it. We also have the eighth house here talking about transforming a relationship, ending something and birthing something new. Um, Taurus again, settling down into something. Taurus's energy gets is very romantic, but it is also practical. Um, it's the kind of relationship that would feel sentimental as well, like focusing more on experiences rather than, um, like how would I describe this? It feels like things are going to be moving steady for you guys. Like whatever energy you're in now, I see that what is next in love for you is that energy moving steadily on. Like no big changes is what I feel. Even though we have the first house, the biggest change is that if you're not in separation yet, it feels like you will be wanting to separate from somebody to kind of feel your way through something new. Um, for others of you, it feels like if you're already in separation, this period is going to be somewhat prolonged because there are more experiences set to come your way. Spirit does seem to want you to embrace your options here. There's an energy of like having options and focusing on career and also mirroring energy with somebody but not being able to sort of settle down with them even though you already feel committed to them. There is a strong energetic pull towards this energy, especially with so much Libra, seventh house energy. It feels like you have a strong connection to somebody already. I'm curious to see what Tarot says for you guys. What is going on? <laughs> what is this for Greeks? 
four. We're up to group four. Oh my lord. What is next in love for group four, Skirt? Yeah, okay. Do you want to you can let it come out again? It's up to you. Just honest, clear messages. What is next in love for group four? Okay, we have judgment. All right, so they showed me the full card first, but they're giving us the other Uranus card, which is judgment. So this talks about some sort of renewal of some sorts, okay? I feel like you have the opportunity to do something um, for yourself here. Like you're renewing your own energy. You're freeing yourself from something. I've got to be honest here. You're having the opportunities to focus on a part of your life that has felt stuck and stagnant. Transforming self, spirit is indicating. There's a period to this, or there's at least an element to this that you already know with the High Priestess. Spirit is really amplifying this energy of don't deny yourself of your feelings. Your intuitive feelings are correct. Um, but I also feel a hesitancy of trusting this. You deserve happiness and they want to bring you the happiness that you deserve. But there is a feeling here of needing to overcome some sort of fear first. The Seven of Wands talks about an underdog energy as well. And didn't I get an underdog energy? I think that was group two. Uh, excuse me, three. Hmm. This is interesting. It's not bad because I don't believe in bad readings. I just believe that this is a curious energy, okay? There's growth here, but there's also a feeling of going steady. And there's also a feeling of like, I want love, but I'm not focused on love. <laughs> so Spirit's like, well, what do you want? Because you have to have something in your mind's eye in order to attract it in, in a way, you know? Especially you guys, you have a connection to somebody um, who is very connected to source. They're very, very intuitive. And it's because you have that ability as well. Um, you tap into them. You tap into each other. You're very connected to this person. Um, and I feel like with judgment here, some truth is going to reveal itself in a very, I want to say harsh way, okay? It's undeniable. With that card upright, you're going to want to embrace it because it's going to help you transform in the way that you've wanted to. You're going to be able to grow and transform in a direction that you've wanted to. And it feels like this is a reinvention of self, which is interesting. So what is next in love for you? You are transforming yourself. You are reinventing yourself. And this leads you to be able to see things for what they are. Perhaps with the High Priestess reversed, you're able to take action towards certain areas that you felt like your hands were tied towards, okay? It does feel like part of you isn't really focused on love with the High Priestess Reverse. There's something that you know and you're standing by it, but you're also not focusing on it. With the Nine of Cups, there's a lot of happiness here, but again, that's a self card. That's like you looking at yourself and creating self-fulfillment. So I see a lot of opportunities to continue doing something that you have been doing for yourself here. And it is going to bring you a lot of joy. It's going to bring you closer to your self-love journey in terms of I'm going to say that your vibration will be so high if it isn't already. There is a prolonged feeling of keeping your vibration high by continuing to attract success for yourself. Um, it also leads us to our seven of wands where you're almost being selective. You're almost like completely zen and connected to self that you're not wanting to let certain energies in. You're really mastering temperance with the seven of wands. There is also an energy here of, of needing to overcome a challenge which seems to be reflected in your energy by fear, okay? There is a feeling here as though you're inevitably going to be challenged to expand and to continue growing. And I feel like there may be hesitancy to do that initially. I feel like you have cultivated something very secure for yourself, very happy, um, stable, and that you're almost hesitating about how to extend that and how to share that with somebody, how to trust somebody to honor that within yourself. Um, it feels like you're going to have to slowly learn to open up again to other people and slowly let people in again. It feels like you're very much just focused on tempering your energy next in love. Some of you are still recovering from a past relationship or this is a period of renewing yourself and um, revitalizing yourself after getting away from a relationship. It feels like you are energetically connected to somebody though and we're going to get more cards to figure out what that's about. So can we clarify the judgment card spirit? What is next in love for group four? 
they're showing me the star so it's a big energy on don't give up okay um your present isn't a true reflection of your future but it is a reflection of your past and there is a pr process of healing that you will be embarking on soon um it's very important that you're patient with yourself in this process because although you may recover quickly there is a feeling of needing things to happen even if they're messy there's pluto and Aquarius energy here, which is telling you that things will be brought into light that could depict a very messy energy. It may need you to just sort of be patient with yourself so that you're able to let these emotions out, purge them in a healthy way, whether that's anger, whether that's sadness, whether that's just frustration, whether that depicts a level of anxiety and fear because it's like, well, what now? Um, once that initial um, reaction subsides, there's a lot of excitement under the surface. There is a lot of hope and there is a lot of desire for um, growth, which is healthy and natural. I also am being shown the Three of Wands, so I do feel a separation of energy here. I feel like your opportunities are limited a little bit when it comes to what is next in love for you. There is a feeling of not leaving the gate open. There is a feeling of you focusing on yourself, and with the Three of Wands, pulling your energy back as well. You're going to want to pull your energy back and not share it with other people. They're showing me the Queen of Cups reversed I feel like listen there is someone here but they're not quite ready or you're not quite ready yet but when you are ready you do want to offer something meaningful there is a feeling of, of coming into a very grounded sort of committable relationship when the right time presents but it doesn't feel like that's now with the two of swords it feels like you're not wanting to look at this I'm getting a lot of avoidant energy here I'm getting this feeling as though you, you don't know if you're ready or they're ready. Someone doesn't want to take action here. Someone is hesitant to decide. The two of swords reversed is either you know the answers but you don't know how to act towards it or you're just afraid of making the wrong decision so you don't do anything at all. Um, there is a feeling as though someone is holding back and being passive on purpose here because they don't trust the process. They don't trust the outcome yet. They feel like they don't have all the answers and they're not able to trust their intuition and trust themselves to be able to make the right decision. What about the Nine of Cups spirit? What is next in love for group four? What is next in love for group four spirit? Hello. The Eight of Cups reversed. Isn't that interesting? Going backwards in order to go forwards. Spirit says as this situation continues to evolve and as your healing journey develops over this period, you are going to be able to shed light on some of the situations um, in the sense of like things is going to start to make sense with the Eight of Cups reversed. There is a feeling here of going back to something in order to gain the clarity or the closure for to you to be able to move forward. I feel like there's a lot of pleasure in doing this. I don't know why. I feel like you're you're able to shed light on a situation that was emotionally messy and it kind of gives you this air of like, oh, I'm so glad I did that. The Nine of Cups can be a feeling of pride and accomplishment as well. Like someone who's showing off what they've achieved so i don't know there's a feeling here of like going back in order to move forward and being proud of what you have to offer this time around um the other thing here is they're encouraging you to be patient with your feelings i feel like you're supposed to be focusing on self right now group four because your emotions may be a little bit of a roller coaster there is definitely some sort of emotional separation here and they're encouraging you to spend time with self to regulate they want you to take time to get back into the flow of your emotions and to understand how you are feeling because it feels like your emotions get the better of you here. Um, one minute you're happy, next minute you're sad, you don't know how you feel anymore, you think you're happy and then all of a sudden you're crying. Um, it's just about being patient and letting yourself regulate naturally as well. Um, some sort of emotional cycle is ending and it has the opportunity to reveal things to us before it ends and disappears completely, okay? There may be the opportunity here to really look into this and get the answers you're seeking in order to move forward. Let's talk about the Seven of Wands, shall we? What is this about? Can we clarify that energy of what is next in love? They showed me the Seven of Swords briefly, reversed. So I do think that someone may have hurt you in terms of they didn't 
they didn't treasure your trust. They didn't honor your feelings. They didn't take you for the genuine person that you are. They were a bit sneaky to say the least. That may vary for many of you. It could be very hectically um, deceptive, but let's just stick to sneaky to help the general group um, relate. Now, it feels like this is the fear moving forward. You want a great love. You want someone who's connected to you, but you don't want to be taken advantage of. And you don't want to invest in someone who's just going to take advantage of you. Now, I'm being shown temperance here reverse. So I do feel like what is next in love for you? Group three is taking time out for self in order to reconcile your internal energy. You have to feel safe enough to be able to love again. You have to feel ready enough to be able to love again. And this is a very specific message. So if this isn't resonating, you may have messages in other groups. But I feel that for many of you, this is about spending time alone to understand what a balanced partnership means to you and what you want from your partner moving forward. Whether that's with somebody from your past or whether that's with a completely new person. Um, it feels like you're going to be taking time out to get into a routine of self and really like healing and looking at where things fell apart in the past and how you can remedy that moving forward in terms of accepting accountability where accountability is due and also like labeling where it wasn't your fault because it's important that the shadows are revealed there when you have accidentally taken accountability over somebody else's actions. Well, actually, that wasn't your fault, group four. Now, I also feel like your psychic abilities are going to be a little bit like haywire, okay? Because part of you doesn't want to trust that side to yourself. And this is where you may struggle to um, find the best opportunities for yourself moving forward because you are highly intuitive and your intuition is trying to guide you into growth period, into a transformative period where you are supposed to be alone until you feel comfortable and safe enough to settle down again. But instead of listening to that, you may feel the impulse to partner up. You may feel the impulse to date again and to just be with somebody because part of you is afraid of being alone. I feel like your intuition is telling you, please stay single and heal until you feel safe enough to let somebody in, until you know yourself enough to know how you deserve to be treated and to be able to set those healthy boundaries from the beginning. There is an impulse here to just settle down because it's what you do it's what you know and spirit is strongly urging you to slow down and to do this the right way this time the choice is yours ultimately but i do see someone making a decision here committing themselves too early and accidentally feeling like they regret it you know feeling like it was the wrong thing to do they should have just slowed down and, and thought about it and trusted their intuition your bottom deck energy is the page of swords which is a youthful curious energy somewhat of a haphazard energy i've got to be honest with you this is someone who is so eager to learn that they do mess up they do accidentally say the wrong things they accidentally pull the wrong articles they accidentally write down the wrong reference this is someone who is so eager to graduate into night that they sometimes don't always deliver the most honest truths. So there is an energy here of slow down, give yourself time and stay in touch with your intuition. I feel that for many of you, you're just going to end up in a in another very quick committed relationship straight back in with all this Libra seventh house energy. And it's going to take you a little bit to realize, oh my gosh, actually, whew, maybe this isn't what I want. Um, so there is a strong energy here of spending time with yourself to reconcile your inner inner world first um, so that you're safe, you feel safe enough and ready enough to be able to do this. But trust yourself and know yourself. You'll know what's right for you. Let's keep going forward, shall we? We'll get the oracle cards next. In terms of signs, we have Scorpio. We have, mm, excuse me, Uranus. Is, is Uranus... Judgment spirit, or is it Pluto? It's Pluto. Is it? Maybe. Why do I have a complete blank? I think Pluto is the judgment card. Why did I call it Uranus at the start of your reading? Hmm. Anyway, we do have Aquarius coming through in my mind's eye, but mostly we have Aries, we have Libra, we've got a bit of all, um, August, excuse you, Leo, we've got Gemini, we've got Taurus, we've got 
the eighth house, which is Scorpio, we have Pisces, we have Sagittarius, and we have Earth Energy, which is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What is next in love? Excuse me, look what's hiding in there. The Eight of Swords reversed. You can do this, sweet pea. You can do this. The Eight of Swords reversed tells you that clarity is coming. The light is coming. The dawn is coming. It's always darkest before the dawn. We're ending a cycle and breaking away from old beliefs. Finally allowing ourselves to see clearly now. All right. Um, group four. <laughs> what is next in love for them, Spirit? This beautiful deck. I'm still going to link Sarah's Instagram down below. This beautiful deck. We have karma. All oh, my days. Justice is going to be delivered. We have defense, yes, with the seven of wands. What is next in love? And we have curious, yes, that's the page of swords, with um, nature. Interesting. Okay, bottom deck energy for you is justice. Yes, karma and justice. You guys, I feel that some of you may be really putting a relationship to the test because I don't know if you are as committed to them as you, you're committed to them in the way that you want to. I don't know. There's a thing here of someone getting their justice and karma really coming in to, to pull things into alignment. With judgment upright and the three of ones reversed, this tells me that a partnership is falling apart. Someone's horizon is shrinking and instead of having all of this, now they only have that. I feel like this is a separation. I feel that for many of you, it's about pulling things back into alignment. I feel like this is about things kind of coming into balance again and credit and debts being paid appropriately, okay? It may be very messy for some of you. It may be very simple for others. It may have been just a, a gray area of a situationship, you know, that you're finally able to um, cut off after months and months of wondering if they'll ever commit to you. But for others, it could be a marriage that's absolving, you know, it feels like things are coming into balance and the justice is being delivered to you. As difficult as it may be to see that in the heat of the moment, things are coming into alignment for you, not to you. This is a situation that could work out in your favor if you let it. Now, defense here is telling me that you may feel like the one that has to protect themselves. So I'm not too sure what's going on. It depends on what you're separating from. But what is next in love for you is that you are going to have high guards up, which is why it is very important for you to take time out to get back into that loving energy, that natural flow. With defense and nature here, there is a strong feeling of giving yourself space and time to grow into this change. Um, because I do think that this period isn't going to be a true reflection of what your future will be. It's just a growth period. It's a period of change. And that means that it will be uncomfortable. It could be messy. It is going to trigger the best and the worst of us. Um, it is going to show us how strong we are by, by almost making us out to be very weak. But instead, it's, it's really just showing our resilience and our perseverance. For many of you, it's going to be about knowing when to take time out for self and how to really just preserve self in order to continue moving forward. I want to say that for you, it's very important to have a self-care routine because they seem to be highlighting self-preservation here, not overly investing your energy. I feel like you are curious about someone, okay? You seem to have an intuitive connection to someone here. Someone may have inspired you to separate from your circumstances. Um, your curiosity may have led to your separation here. But I feel like with curious, it's, it's about like your mind expanding, breaking out of this cycle and allowing yourself to see other things for a change instead of just going like this the whole time. It's like, wait a minute, this isn't the only way to live? Oh, oh, wow. Oh, my God. Wow. What's over here? You know, just ex exploring and experiencing and giving yourself room to connect again. I feel like it's about self, if I'm honest, like that message keeps coming through, but you'll know what is best for you. There's a strong energy here of not getting too wrapped up in, in that process again and giving yourself time and space to breathe. Um, but I feel that for some of you, you're very much a creature of habit and you may feel most comfortable with your life when you're in a relationship. So many of you won't stay single for long. Um, let's see what is happening here. Please, Spirit. I don't know who's going to come through. Okay, you do have someone that you're psychically connected to. Um, but let's see what comes through. Who is the person that is next in love for group four spirit? What is their energy like? What is their personality like? Next in love for group four, please, spirit. 
Yeah. Wowzers. What is next in love? Can I get one more card, please? Pretty, pretty please with the cherry on top. I'm a little bit, hmm, you're going to know what's best for you guys, okay? I feel like I get so protective over you guys, and I know that other readers do as well. I'm trying to just stay objective, but one of my guides is fiercely maternal, and she's just like, protect them, protect them. So listen, you'll know what's best for you, but I do feel like the best thing that is coming through as a collective energy group for is to take time out to heal self because the right person will come through at the right time and you're going to recognize them because they aren't going to want to change you. They're going to take time to understand you and to know you. They're going to potentially trigger your defenses because you're in a period of healing and you're the type of energy that, that gets defensive when they feel weak. But I do think that with time, this person isn't going to feel threatened by your defenses. They're actually just going to respect that and give you space to sort of let them in, you know, if that, if that makes sense. This isn't going to be someone that makes you feel guilty for needing to take time for self. This isn't going to be someone that puts you in an ultimatum sort of position. Well, you never have time for me. Like, if you want to be with me, like, you have to do this and that. They're not going to do that to you. They're going to give you space to heal because they're going to recognize that you need that and they're going to give you um, room to for them to sort of come into your life if that makes sense it's not going to have to be this power struggle is what I feel it's not going to have to feel too codependent um, it feels like you could do a lot of healing with whoever this is but it also feels like a lot of that healing has to happen with self um, and the way that you're going to know if this is a healthy balanced partnership is whether this person gives you the opportunity to do that for yourself or whether they smother you to the point where your healing is them. And instead of healing yourself, you're, you're actually just numbing and healing them. Anyway, bottom deck energy is Carmen, Lana Del Rey. So this says, you don't want to be like me. Don't want to see all the things I've seen. I'm dying. So this person has a very defensive energy, similar to you. And I feel like the two of you may trigger each other group four. I'm not going to lie. There's a feeling here of, of, of triggering each other's experiences. Um, I'm hearing minimize. So this could be someone who you were dealing with. They maybe had the... the, the um, knack of minimizing the way that you were feeling and making your feelings feel less than significant. Now, technically, the first card that came out for you was that side by Ling Hustle. So this card says, you thought the grass was greener on that side, so you slid over that side, and now you want to backslide. So this could be someone from your past trying to get back in. I see a separation here due to a third party interference. Somebody thinking the grass was greener on the other side. Woman, oh woman, the, by the Rubens. Well, I'll be damned. Smell cinnamon. Couldn't shake the taste. Woman, oh woman, I need you to night. Yeah, there is a strong physical attraction here. There is a strong desire here. Um, we have, and I feel like, listen, that could be where this is happening because I feel like there's a strong desire to simply have somebody. It doesn't matter what that body looks like or who they happen to be. It's just like somebody. So it's just about being wary of those energies. Hey, um, we have back in my body, <laughs> speaking of bodies, by Maggie Rogers. Puffed along a cigarette that went and made me sick. Spent another day pretending I was over it. Interesting. So somebody here can't shake the taste of you, sweet pea. You taste like cinnamon. Summertime Sadness by Lana Del Rey. Kiss me hard before you go. I just wanted you to know that, baby, you're the best. Yeah, you have a hung up ex, sweets, who's very tethered to you. And they are going through it. Now, for some reason, you have a future with this person, too. Um, it may just be, listen, you know what's best for you. Feel your way through it. Give yourself time. But I do feel that you have someone here who's hung up on your energy um, or they're still hung up on somebody else's energy and they're coming into you because this is who you're dealing with next. So this is somebody who isn't quite healed. There's something that they hung up on here that they're thinking about. We have That Just Don't Sit Right by Winston Surfshirt. Listen, I can't deny it. something doesn't sit right here in this energy. See you everywhere. I can't shut my eyes. I still see you there. Don't you get too close to me. I can't fall too fast. You're both on the defense. Mm. What's the advice, please, spirit? What is the advice? I've got to ask them. 
I can't just do this like I did for the other groups. You're very different. What's the advice for group four, Spirit? What do you have to say to group four? Boundaries. I knew it. Okay, empowerment. Yes, it's everything that I was talking about. We have inspiration. You do have a new beginning starting for you. And sweets, when you start to embody this energy, you become somewhat of a star. People look up to you. People see you shining bright and they want a piece of the pie. Excuse me, do pies shine? Anyway, they see you shining and they want some of that shine. You're going to be a beacon. And it feels like it's about having healthy boundaries, okay? The first card that you got out, your advice is to have healthy boundaries is to know how you deserve to be treated and that's why they really want you to take time out for self because this is a period of empowerment it's not isolation it's empowerment it feels like you're really becoming self here and you're able to offer yourself closure in ways that you maybe never saw yourself having like closure comes in many forms right many of us expect to get closure from the person who hurt us but most of us aren't afforded that luxury. There are many ways to get closure. And Spirit is indicating that what is next in love for you is the opportunity to learn your boundaries, to offer yourself empowerment, and to gain closure in, in a healthy way, in a way that you are able to have somewhat of control over that. Because it feels like maybe the person who did hurt you isn't able to give that to you, or the way that you've been hurt isn't able to offer you the closure you need. Spirit is really highlighting that you need to stay connected to your intuition intuitive abilities. You are intuitive as a gift. It is something that is helping you grow and protecting you from harmful things. And your intuition is very different to your other impulses. It's something that needs to be cultivated through stillness, through peace, through um, prayer. For most of you, you have a strong connection to Christianity, apparently. Um, but you just, it's about fostering that, that peaceful intuitive ability it's not an impulse it's not this excitement or fear-based action it's more of of a place of knowing it's not something that comes to you as the loudest voice in the room and they really want you to garner that ability again to actually wear that as a badge of like honor um, because it is something that you've been blessed with. We're all intuitive beings, but your intuition is very strong for a very specific reason of guiding you and protecting you. And they don't want you to turn that off. There is a way to protect yourself so that you're not introducing harmful energies into your environment. Many readers talk about this. I talk about this on Patreon for Labradorite patrons, but you can find this on YouTube. I'm sure Gem Goddess has done many videos on it. It's about cleansing your energy. You can use smoke, you can use crystals, you can use salt, um, you can use other natural influences, cleansing your energy, protecting your energy. Crystals, salt, and smoke are like the easiest ways to do it, but there are many different ways of doing it. I do think that you have this gift for a reason, and I really believe that your guides are just really trying to connect with you right now, guiding you through this process of healing so that you can grow from it rather than get stuck in it, you know? So let's see when you can expect this change in your love life. When can they expect this? That was quick. We have, okay, so listen, it's all dependent upon your actions. When a court card comes out for a time frame, they're highlighting that your action, your planning has everything to do with this, okay? You can have this reality, it will take time, the Eight of Pentacles is saying eight years. This is going to be a long-term journey for you. It's about really growing into the person that you deserve to be, but it is reflective upon your actions. You have this volatile ability to make this happen when you want to with the King of Wands because it's all reflective on your actions. They're really highlighting with the King of Wands that this is going to require planning and effort and consistency, okay? Um, you, If you want this change, you have to actually take that action towards this change as well. Intention setting is the first step. What else can you tell us about time frames to them? When this is going to happen for them, Spirit? Okay, we have the Queen of Cups, so it could take a couple of months of careful planning for some of you. And with the Ten of Wands, they're saying that there's going to be ten weeks in particular that are very difficult. It's important that you count um, account for money in that time. Ten weeks that may be a bit difficult. There's going to be a lot of pressure on your shoulders. There may be an adjustment period there, especially if you're a spouse and you're separating from your spouse and you have kids. They're asking for you to take that um, time to plan 
so that you're not losing here because there is a feeling of like a 10 week adjustment period but you will get through this and the long term is why we're doing this you are going to have success in your future what you put in is what you put out you are protected you are guided and you are safe okay group four bottom deck energy is the king of cups you have someone who loves you and cares for you in a way that you deserve to be loved and cared for they are the opposite okay in the terms of they are your your other piece to the puzzle here and I feel like they are waiting on the other end of this this separation that you're going through. Listen, group four, I got to cut your reading there. If you've been the longest one, I hope this reading was helpful for you. I don't doubt that it was triggering. So I'm sending you so much love and light. This is still a general reading. So if it doesn't resonate, don't force it to fit. If you feel like you had some messages here, but not all of it resonated, you could have messages in other groups as well. I feel like this reading's outcome is very dependent upon the actions that you take, meaning that you could change the narrative very quickly, depending on what you do right here, right now. So you, what is next in love for you can change like that, okay? You don't have to force this to be your reality. Your reality is in your hands. Look after your beautiful self. Thank you for all of your support, Group 4, and I shall see you in another video. Bye.